All right, so we are going to start this draft off. Okay, so let's just, uh, before we we pull it up, let's lay down some ground rules. One, there will be trades, of course. Mm -hmm. Two, the order is, we'll just start one, two, three, four. Parm has the first pick with the Hawks. Dread has the second pick with the Wizards. Sam has the third pick with the Rockets. I have the fourth pick with the Spurs. And then from there, we will be doing the same order until we hit pick 20. We might be able to get the whole first round in here. We might just have to kind of spitball here. But I have a, a, a very... I'm just inclined to believe that it will be about two hours to get the first 20 <laughs> picks based on the history of this podcast um, and how how things function. So us run long. Let's 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 see where we're at around pick 15 before we commit to doing the whole first round. So let's do pick 20. Uh, we'll start. I will pull up the mock draft simulator right now. Parm, you are on the clock with the Atlanta Hawks. The number one overall pick in this draft. That's a quite a position to be in. So, Parm, first off, before we get started, are you going to keep the pick? Yeah, because I've seen the reporting of them trying to trade down to like two or three. And I think that's the most asinine like basketball strategy of all time. You just take the guy that you want to take at three. You just take Donovan Klingon first overall done. Easy. So I do they just want to point out his first overall pick they could make. Parm, the last time that this happened, uh, the Philadelphia 76ers traded from uh, pick number one to pick number three. Uh, I'm sorry, from pick number three to pick number one and took Markel Fultz um, and Jason Tatum went with the third pick. Yeah. So historically speaking, that strategy has been pretty good to the team that traded down. Yeah, the problem, though, is, like, you're just, like, I don't know. I just think it's kind of, like, a waste of time. <laughs> in this draft, like, probably, because you're in, like, not going to get a bunch draft of extra class shit. of all time. Yeah. And, like, you're just banking on, like, on the other two teams being so stupid, they draft, like, French backup players <laughs> with the next two picks. Like I couldn't imagine just, like, that. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think you just take the... The guy I would love to take would be Mr. Zachary Eady, number one overall. Let's go! Let's go! Championship game to Donovan Klingon, and that that does mean something. Let's go! Look, okay, uh, I'm gonna so, be honest. Look, I, I, as a UConn, uh, you know, booster here myself, I, I respect it. I appreciate it. You know, you, just keeping Klingon away from any team that uh, uh, Dan Hurley could feasibly think about coaching is great for me. So I, I have a question question for you, Parm. Um, mm -hmm. Certainly. What's stopping you from taking Zach Eady with the first? That he lost. That that he lost to Donovan <laughs> Klingon. That he that lost. Is, but he had. <laughs> but Klingon had the super team. He was. You he, could make no, the argument. No, he has. He has. He has nineteen year old Jeremy Lamb as his co star, who shouldn't even be picked in the lottery. Cook. Cook. Oh my god. Incredible. And then like a bald New Jersey Catholic school head coach. Like, I don't know. Like, that's pretty to me. I don't know. These yeah. are excellent points, I, I have to say. Um you, you drafted a winner. Yeah. So so question for you, Parm. If you are keeping the number one overall pick, who are you considering with the first overall pick in this draft? I mean, it's just it really just centers. I think they, I think the Hawks need a five more than anything from what what I'm looking at. I think Jalen Johnson had a really really good year last year. Um, yep. I You're bold, think, by the way. I kind of Jalen Johnson, even when yeah. he wasn't playing, you were saying he's going to be a guy. Yeah, I think he, I think he's a really good player. Um, I think also like DeAndre Hunter is Tobias Harris, but he makes $20 million through like 2047 <laughs> or whatever his contract is. So like, yep. I guess he's on the team. Uh, and then they want to trade Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, like both of them, but mm -hmm. I don't think anyone wants to pick up the phone, mm -hmm. which is why they're still there. So then, then the only guy left, unfortunately, is Clint Capella, who's only a little bit washed. Like I kind of feel bad taking a center number one because I love Clint. But going into the last year of his deal. He's going into the last year of his deal, and then your backup center is quite literally 
six foot eight and not very good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can we just talk about a Kagwu real quick? Because I'm sure this will be a point that is brought up if they do decide to select whether it's Sar or Klingon or one of these bigs at the top. A Kagwu doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's he he's not even like you said, he's six eight and yeah. As we've seen, is, is bad. Grant Williams. He, he is. They got. They got rid of Bruno Fernando to get to draft him. Why? <laughs> Why? Bruno they Fernando him, still in the NBA. They He's brought him back here. though. Isn't he back on the Hawks? He, he is back. I think yeah. that's this year. I was gonna say he was playing, but he he okay. doesn't matter here. What what you should be worried about here is who are you ch- keeping, Dejounte or Trey? Are you keeping both of them? How do they fit with that? How does this guy fit with Trey or Dejounte if you keep him? Oh, Sam, I'm on the phone. I've I've heard I've heard enough. It's time to interject. I am scared, Parm. This is the Houston Rockets, mm-hmm. and I'm ready to talk shop. We're armed with the number three pick, and I want to start this draft off with a barn burner trade. You know how you just said nobody wants Trey Young. Here's the thing: we, the Houston Rockets, would oh. love Trey Young. And what we are willing to offer, hear me out. You know, you said you wanted a center. Sam, be very careful with what you say, because Rockets Twitter I'm... has a, a, a fucking scope right around your head right I now. I have a scope. Oh, it's I okay. Can... It's okay. This is this. And... A, hey, hey, this or is the a... fan base that got mad that I suggested that they could possibly trade Tari Eason for Donovan Mitchell. Keep that in mind. This, this is, the, no, look, we're defending Aura here, okay? The package, we will take one. You okay. will trade down to three. Um, so you will, you will have a pick, uh, a, a few spots later, but we will be sending you both Fred Van Vliet and Alpern Shangun for Trey Young. That yeah. is, that is a, my, one of the loves of my life, but a washed Canadian and a, a bad Turkish center. I'll, <laughs> no, thank you. I can't, I can't interest you in, in Alpern Shangun and, no, and, and Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, you're getting rid of Trey Fred. and the number one pick to get yes. Alperin Sangoon. Yes, and yeah, and Fred Van Vliet. Fred, 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 let's be real, is salary filler. Like he's just, he's just yeah. Out. Like well, he, he, can, he can play with Dejounte though. Like you could be competent next year. Hey, hey, no, he's from Rock Rock. What is he? Rockport, Illinois. Fred Van Vliet. <laughs> Rockville, Illinois. He's spiritually Canadian because do you, people do forget that he was an important part of the 2019 championship team for the Raptors. So don't forget that when you consider trading Fred Van Fleet. It is an this, important thing to bring up. This was perhaps the most Houston Rockets trade of all time <laughs> in the sense that they traded or attempted to trade 21 year old Alperen Sengun, who is, as Will points out in the comments, a top 40 player already, mm-hmm. and yep. that somebody said no. But hold on. Defense and he runs like George Niang. I'm out. <laughs> he does run like George Niang. There's no, like there's, 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 there's no denying that. Is he good? Yes. Does he run like George Niang? Absolutely. So that is one thing to consider here. I do. So, so I'm assuming, Sam, the strategy here was to get pick one and then draft Klingon. So you would have yeah. Trey and Klingon. I thought we could do it at three, but Parm spooked me at the, uh, at the, um, talking about Klingon, so the suggestion of, of yeah, Klingon at one. Then, then, then you have Amen Thompson, you have Jabari, you have um, you uh, Tari, you've got a lot of long rangey wings, and Donovan Klingon behind Trey Young, uh, Dylan Brooks. I think that's an interesting team, and I know Shangun is a uh, really good young up and coming player with a lot of good indicators. Trey Young is better right now and is a more sure thing. Because a lot of what we're saying about why Shangun's really good is it's wow, look at how much he looks like Jokic. Like when you look at his like advanced stats, there's one Jokic. Like he's probably very good, but like I'm a little skeptical that he's gonna end up being like an all NBA guy. It's like, I do have a qu- I, I I do want to point out here that um yeah. <clears throat> you did just suggest trading Shangun to clear up the log jab for Jabari Smith. Just want to point that out <laughs> real quick. Yeah, well I, you just you playing small. Like, because he's a better defender too. Shengu's not a great defender. You put Klingon behind Trey Young. I don't know. I, I think there's something there. I, let's uh, stay woke. Let's okay. Stay woke. All right. Well, well, well Parm, Parm is saying no to the trade anyway. So Parm, yeah. you're on the clock. Yeah. Who would you? Klingon. Okay. So Klingon we are me. taking Donovan Klingon with the number one overall pick. Not what I expected, but Parm, you always keep me on my toes. Um, can't say that I expected Donovan Klingon, but now your core. 
assuming you get through the night without trading one of Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, is Trey, DeJounte, Jalen Johnson, Clayton, oh, uh, and then I guess that's really the four that you're working with right yeah. now. Are you open to trading one of DeJounte or Trey today? Absolutely. Just okay. not for that pick. Okay. All right. Fair. All right. So, uh, we will move on to the second pick. If, if you have a team that is interested in trading for one of Trey Young or DeJounte Murray, when you're up on the clock, you can get back on the phone with Parm and try to execute something there. Um, so I gave him my best shot. So right. now you are on the board, Dread, with the second overall pick. And there are theoretically, I mean, look, I wouldn't, I, I will be, I'll be honest. I wouldn't be shocked if Klingon goes number one in this draft. I wouldn't be. It, it does sound more and more like teams are kind of playing scared. And I think that Klingon is probably the safest guy that you could take at the top of this draft. Even if I like other prospects more than him, he's five on my board right now. I think that there's a chance that his floor remains the highest of all these guys. And in a draft where you don't know what you're getting, it might make some sense to take uh, uh, an easy guy here. I would swing higher, but a lot of people seem to think that he could be the number one overall pick. So, Dread, now that well, you're number two, you have basically everyone uh, available. Uh, you know, I'm the Washington Wizards, and I'm uh, I'm I don't I don't give a shit about this draft. I don't give a shit about no about 2024. My eyes are on two numbers: 2025, which has the number of Cooper Flag and 2026, which mm -hmm. has the number of Cam Boozer. Fundamentally, I just need to make it look reasonable. <laughs> okay. I can't. I can't be accused of Adam Silver of. of oh, of, I see what you're doing. Of a uh, of a uh, throwing things. Oh no 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 no! That's coming later. You, you know, but you know, I, I I need to I need to make sure the glove doesn't fit on the tanking allegations i need perhaps a uh developmental wing who has some real upside maybe oh he can play the power forward alongside Bilal, and i can flip him in the future maybe he's a little rough maybe people have said you know flirting harassment with him and matas uh whatever his name is who cares Buzelis. yeah Buzelis. who cares Maybe, maybe, maybe people just need to understand that there, there's one guy who the G League Ignite just really ruined his stock. Let's go. And we have to acquit and draft Ron Holland. Let's go. <laughs> I, I have to say, Parm. That's devastating get... from my Troy Weaver Pistons run. <laughs> That's devastating. From my well, guess what, Parm? I'm going to be on the phone the moment you get to five because the Wizards... The Wizards think that you, as the Pistons, might want to get uh, bisexual Tobias Harris. and uh, Yeah, he, he needs to come home, definitely. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma? Is... Yeah, that's happening. All right, <laughs> wait, call me at five. Not. Like, he's Michigan's finest. He needs to be redeemed, dude. <laughs> Let's unless, go. unless the 76ers are interested in a little, a little Kuzmania. Well, it's possible. I mean, look, you get rid of one Tobias, you got to get another. That's that's what we know is that there just always perpetually has to be Tobias some. Harris has never been on an episode of Ball in the Family. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's I can't argue with that. He is not. I if I pulled up his IMDb, I don't think Ball in the Family would be on there. So. It's a very good point. Um, so Ron Holland goes with the second pick. Klingon and Holland, just like we expected. I do have to ask you, Parm. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Parm, Parm. I have to ask Parm. We've brought this up many times. This mm -hmm. draft, Chiodo has been big on this. This is a terrible name draft. A lot mm -hmm. of bad names in this draft. How do you feel about this, about Ron Holland and the fact that his name is Ron Holland and it, does that mean he's going to be a bust? Because that does does not sound like an NBA player. No, 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 no. I, I kind of like it because he's balding at <laughs> eighteen and a half. Like, that's that's a name of a guy that is like that that is like in a pack of like nineteen eighty seven basketball cards that is bald, and you're like, damn, that guy was twenty four years old in this picture. You guys <laughs> also don't know his full name. He's Ronald Dwayne Holland the second. That's actually, I like that a little bit more now that you yeah. that you went from, you know, you know, 
Yeah, especially the, the 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 being a second. Exactly. Yeah, I I, I like that. I got to say, he got it. I do think the the Chuck's idea of just calling him Dutch from day one. Yes. Because of the Honestly. fact that yeah, that's that's a home run idea. So. If we if we could just call him Dutch, I I like the chances. Of, by the way, number one on my board right now, Ron Holland. Um, the NBA is stupid. Yeah, he's and really we'll, good. And we'll make the we'll regret making the mistake of letting a playable wing fall far in the draft for the third straight year, just like they did with Tari Eason, just like they did with Cam Whitmore. Yeah. Ultimately, again, and and only doing half a bit with the Wizards. The Wizards have to like make it look a little reasonable, but this is not their draft. They are they're aiming for ping pong balls for two drafts in a row starting next year. And B- Bilal and Holland, a lot of talent there. Definitely not going to win a lot of games. Next no, year, it's going to be incredible. They're yes. going to, it's going to be one of the most interesting games to it, It's the perfect scheme, by the way, for mm-hmm. a team that mostly wants to sell tickets. It's going to be a fun game to watch and they're going to lose by 50 every night. Yes, exactly. So, um, all right, Sam, as Raphael Stone, you are up on the board. You have all of draft Twitter behind you, by the way, because <sighs> you've hired. That's why draft Twitter isn't as good as it used to be, because the Houston Rockets have decided to hire basically the entirety of it. And they have crushed the last few drafts, especially not at the top, really, more so later. <laughs> but yeah. but they are on the clock with the third overall pick in this draft after Ron Holland went <laughs> two and Donovan Klingon went one. How are you feeling? I'm doing a popper because I'm I'm <laughs> I'm so upset that I I I, I blew this Trey Young thing. I, really I thought you were cel- I thought man. you were celebrating the Charlie Wait, XCX you're, album coming out, but you're doing oh, a popper. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna knight you honorarily bisexual, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Sam. You you I'm, get that? You, you yeah. You, like, you went to Harvard for the got, night. right? You're an yeah, Ivy I'm, leaguer. You you get an honorary bisexuality. Yeah, that's degree. true. Like you know, I, I feel like I am stealing bisexual valor a little bit, but I do like Brad. So like you know, we just, I love cha- I love Challengers. Uh, one of the best mo- movies of the last twenty years. Um, um, okay, so. I'm going to walk you through my process. Uh, my, number one on my board is Topic. It's still Topic after the ACL tear. Um, I Talent-wise, I should just draft Topic. Um, I'm really thinking about Sar here um, just because he gives the Rockets like another look. They don't really have a lot of like a, a big wingy guy. The problem is that he might not be good. <laughs> and that's something that you like – kind of need especially if you like that should want to be that should be the tagline for this draft by the way yeah. the 2024 nba draft they yeah. might not be good <laughs> yeah they, 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 uh, well, we kept making that joke last year and then like shangun like finally popped like this year so like they finally do have like a young guy who's like a little bit of a known quantity but like um i've mocked reed here in the past oh, uh reed for reed, reed, reed I, thought, I, yeah i i like Reed probably makes the most sense, like impact wise, um, for a team that's like trying to win, and he kind of fits with a lot of what they're, they're doing. However, I am going to be taking Nikola Topic here um, with this pick. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. With 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 that selection hanging, your phone is ringing, and it's it's the okay. Washington Wizards. Okay, Mister uh, Wizards. Unfortunately, w- w- Mister Wizards, were considering sending bisexual Tobias Harris uh, to our nation's capital uh, for his lobbying efforts, or excuse me, from our nation's capital, excuse me, uh, for his lobbying efforts to, to, Are we talking to about Detroit. To, oh, okay. to, to Detroit. Uh, but now that we were going to aim for a Topic and double stack the sabotage our season players. Uh, uh, and and we're 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 gonna offer you effectively the same thing. Now we can't just trade into cap space the way we could with the the Pistons. The way we're gonna offer them for creating a TPE, as I was hoping to do. But you know, uh, we can still we can still maybe talk about you know maybe a Denny Avdia. Ooh. So you're saying Denny Avdia and Kyle Kuzma? No, 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 just not, Denny Avdia. No, no, Denny Avdia for the third pick and stuff. Whatever filler, yeah. Is, or are you taking Jalen Green? What? What's the? Yeah, well, I, I would say I think Jalen Green would would oh. be my counter offer. I would be swapping Jalen. That would be what I would su- suggested framework for me swapping Jalen Green for Denny Avdia. But then I think I would need some kind of pick back. May I, may um, I interject? 
Yes. Jay Sean Tate is one of the most wizards of all time. He's like Jody <laughs> Meeks level wizard. Like he is such a whiz. Jay Sean Tate salary filler okay. and 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 the third pick for Denny Avdias is the suggestion here, Parm. I I'm I'm open to it. I'm, I'm, I'm how about open. how about twenty six too? No, we can't give you the twenty six. This is the whole this is the whole thing. We're 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 creating lottery balls, man. Yeah, I think I gotta you, keep you gotta win it, now, man. man. Topich is Topich doesn't have a knee right now. Do you it's think fine. you're gonna survive in Houston? Yeah, I think it's fine. We got we got young guys coming up. We got Amen Thompson. We got Shabari Smith. A lot of our guys are getting better. He did just sign an extension, Raphael Stone. I just want to point that out. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, Dread. Yeah. I, I know he did, but I was hoping that Sam might forget <laughs> that. You, you, you ruin it. You blowing up my shit here, Trip. Yeah. All right. I'm taking I'm taking Topic. Um he you don't need Topic to play this year, which I actually think is a benefit for the Rockets right now. Like um it gives them some time to figure out what they're doing with the rest of their like young core. Like they're gonna be consolidating and like when they trade Jalen Green, because that's gonna happen at some point, like that'll give them a little bit of time. And then Topic is the heir apparent behind Fred Van Vliet. There's only Fred Van Vliet's expiring. Like, and he's kind of old. So, like, it is a little bit of a – it's not a position of need next year, but it is going to be a position of need going forward. I think we got just got the best player in the draft at three. I'm, I'm okay with it. I I just want to say I am up with the fourth pick in this draft now. I did not expect Topic or um, Ron Holland to be off the board. I have them number one and two on my board. So now I have two players that I can choose from. Uh it from my top five that are available to play with Victor Wem and Yamba. Before I do this, is there anyone that is interested in trading up to the fourth pick? Um, uh, if you have okay. a pick later, I'm Go. open to trading down. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, I guess the Sacramento Kings want to know what you think about former Euro League MVP Sasha Vizanto. <laughs> And whether you think that he is a uh, winning most improved player next year, maybe you want to pick swap with a little, with a uh, little Vizankov. Maybe, maybe you want, maybe you want splashy former 2021 all rookie team member, Chris Duarte. This is, you know? yeah. I mean, I, we're, 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 it is we're strapped. We, it is very, a, if you know anything about the Spurs, they want to win now and acquiring two guys in the middle of their thirties uh, is Davion very appealing. Mitchell is da Davion Mitchell also uh, is. Wow. Another uh, Texan, guy. yeah, he, he did awesome. go to Baylor. He loves defense. You know that could be a Spursy guy. This if is not awesome. Steve Buford. Trill, uh, your phone is vibrating in your pocket. Oh, it's a uh, it's calling from uh, the demon Danny Ainge. Oh, Mister Ainge, how are you? Uh, you know, I love being a Mormon. Yeah, just my know. favorite thing to be. He's Mormon Trump, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Mormon. I'm in Utah <laughs> these days. Uh. We we heard the caffeine, the it's the worst. We hate the alcohol. We hate it's the nasty alcohol. For you. He actually that. doesn't drink alcohol, so I, maybe I, I, Trump Mormon. Stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> um, we heard you're on the clock. You know, just we've been keeping an eye on the draft. You know, just as we do. Uh, and you know, we have the tenth pick, and we think we have maybe a, a semi lateral trade for you that you might enjoy. Okay. Um. So we don't want to. Sounds like you're very confident in this trade as you read down your roster. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is this is going to be happening. Um, we just we don't want the pick straight up. We want to drop back to. We want you to drop you to drop back to ten. Okay. Um, how do you feel about Colin Sexton? He's a player. He is a player. No. Um, <laughs> and we would like to take back. Because I am, I I want to make it clear. I do not think Danny Ainge would do this because Danny Ainge seems to be invested in playing right now, and I just don't think that's a realistic thing. Okay. Um, we want Jeremy Sohan, Trey Jones, Filler, and uh, your twenty twenty seven protected fix picked for Colin Sexton to drop back to switch between three and ten. Okay, I will be selecting Reed Shepard with the. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm upset. <laughs> I'm yeah. upset. 
Okay, so um Oh, I can't believe you didn't fucking take a French guy. So here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. I, I can't take a French guy with the pistons. We can't do it. I do just want to point out here. I do just want to point out here that I have I actually do have the option of taking either Alex Sar or Reed Shepard. I think Sar and Wemby at the four five would be and that French back line defensively would be incredible. I feel pretty good about SAR's overall ability and potential long term for sure. I think Reed's a really good fit with what they need. I think that they need guard play and I think they need shooting around Wemby. I believe in Reed long term too, but I don't know if his ceiling is quite as high as SARS. So Parm, you want to get Reed Shepard here for the Pistons? Well, I can't draft a French guy. I can't. <laughs> we can't do that. The Why city not? of Detroit oh, will Killian not forgive Hayes. us for drafting another Killian Hayes. We can't Fuck. do it. I forgot. Richie might be wait, another wait, Killian Hayes. Okay, it's so very possible. Are, wait, are you locking in Reed at four? No, I haven't locked okay. in Reed at four. I, I just you want to sure say you're I, not interested in Colin Sexton? You could throw us an extra no, extra I'd, first. Couldn't be less interested. <laughs> um... <laughs> No disrespect to the sex man. I mean, do you, do, you, do you want... Are there pistons that you're intrigued with? Perhaps. I guess I guess not really with the Spurs, because you're not trading me Cade, right? No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Ooh, probably there's not. potential to have Cade? Well, if you're going to give me, like, like I don't Four know. Four and eight for Cade? Oh. You're gonna give me like Sohan and the pick for Cade. Like, okay, <laughs> let's lock that in. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Four and Sohan for Cade Cunningham. I mean, you're. I that's do have not to work salary wise. You're gonna have to do more. Right? No. Hmm. Yeah, um, I, I haven't even seen. Let, let me take a look. They're here. pretty close salary wise. I could throw in like a vet min and make that work. This is repulsive. What, 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 what about Keldon? Kel Done. So you want, all right, so you Keldon want Kel and Jeremy? Keldon, Jeremy Sohan, and the fourth pick for Cade Cunningham. Yeah, that's a done deal. It's insane. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. You just gave alcohol to an alcoholic. Oh, wait, wait, do I not get... Well, I get... You, you get yeah, four. I, get, I get four, right? Yeah, you get the fourth pick. Yeah, so just yeah, give me Reed. Okay. All right. So I can't do trade picks on here, or I can only do trade picks. So you will just be getting the fourth pick, and I'll trade it to. I do four. think Cade's good, by the way. Like I think he's really, really good. I just think that's like a very, very good player. I, you're in you're Sohan and sure. the fourth pick. Let's I go. think I, I I actually don't hate that trade, like for the Pistons. I'm gonna be honest. I think Reed might just, or I mean, not Reed. Uh, I think Cade might be kind of cooked. Not like cooked, cooked, but like he just might be like a average starting point guard. In which case, I think this is a good trade. There's uh, yes, D. Bronx, one hundred percent right. Cade stand, Cade stands blaming Wemby when he still sucks in San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We have the the all right. So I have I have now traded the pick to Parb. So Parb, you have Keldon Johnson, Sohan. I actually think I would have to take back extra money in that case. But whatever salary we need to make it work. Actually, you know what? We have cap space. We're sending, and so do you. So I think we're good. Uh, I'm trying it right now. Um, I think we can do going. that. Yeah, I think you can too, but I'm, I'm just check, trying it. Just I'm in such on. piss and shit as Danny Ainge, man. You didn't want my call, my Colin Sexton? You want a Cade Cunningham? All yeah, right. I mean, I'm, I'm taking the chance on uh, on a talent good, here. A player that might yeah, be good as opposed to a player that permanently I do have to max him. I'm just pointing out, if, if that could be... That yeah. could be detrimental to Wemby's oh. title window. Oh my God, pardon, you're what right. You, you just, you, you just fucking you salary dumped. You, you sabotaged the Wemby window. <laughs> <laughs> you genius. Cade and Wembis next year. Let's go. Draft Twitter. I, gets, the more I guy. think about this trade, I actually kind of like it for Detroit. I'm going to be honest. I'm talking We're myself. We're winning 35 games. Yeah. We're winning 35 games with 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 Reed and the yeah. boys. Yeah, so I like. Reed, I Reed is like your pick this. here. Yeah, yeah. Reed, okay. yes. I, yeah, I like that. I like this. I, I think I kind of think he might be yeah. the one of the best players in the 
Like, I know he just got picked fourth, but I really think he's nuts. Well, you have f- you have four and five. All right, well, well now that you're on five, that. I am calling you. I, I, I am still going to call. Wait, you. wait a minute. You didn't take five back? No. No. What? no. Well, you thought oh, you were going to take five, dude. Yeah. Like, I'll take five. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> get, me, get, get me one of the French guys, too. No, no, no. Wait, no before, three. before you take a French guy, bisexual Tobias Harris is calling. <laughs> Kuz, you can get Kuz okay, on this so, team. So, so, so you would be Sohan, so Keldon, Kuz, Reed. Oh my god. Sohan, Keldon, Kuz, and Duren is like not an. Is that that's not that does not feel like a lineup that you can have. What, what about also you're... Thompson? I guess is a guard. Not a really Marvel large. wing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, that that's, like, if you're – if I'm, like, going full Pistons brain, I'm, like, I guess we're just going to pretend that he's aiming. Okay. Well, you've got, got Jaden Ivey. Jaden Ivey, but he – yeah, he him and Reed are, like, the – are are two – and Sasser are, like, the guards. Let's yeah, go. Okay. Let's go. Um, I mean, that still works for – does that still work, like with, like money wise? After making that move to add twenty million dollars to Keldon, you're you're still neutral because you have you have like, Keldon, part yeah. yeah, you already no, have. I'm saying we just took on twenty million dollars. Yeah, but you have cap space. You you, you should be able to take on with him. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine. Yes, I think they have like 50, almost fifty million in cap. Yeah, space. you still have nineteen million. So I think even the five wouldn't. Uh, can I get a can I get a throw in with Kuz? What's the throw in? Uh, Johnny Davis. <laughs> well, I, I mean, no. you're gonna have to start sending money back at that point. But yeah, I don't give a shit. Gonna, <laughs> give me Simone Fontecchio. No, I'm he's not a free agent. Simone Fontecchio is. Oh, he's a free agent. Yeah, Never mind. yeah he's, free he's agent. also the truth. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm trying this out. Don't yeah, worry. Do you have any up. signed players that? No. You uh, have, like, I can get. I we can probably give you Medu. Sure. <laughs> Is he under Medu. contract? Or uh, yeah. you know, would you rather have team to, option? Actually, yeah. actually, I'm gonna give you back hold Washington on. Wizards legend Troy Brown Jr. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to point out here <laughs> that Troy Weaver's last move he did <laughs> was signing Shemesi Metu <laughs> to an extra year <laughs> with a team option on it. For was he literally <laughs> directly pandering to you? Yeah, probably. I'm the like, only fan. I'm the only. I'm the only true we have had left. This is the you're honoring him tonight. I I gotta say, I think that this is this is poetic in a way. It's but, all about winning 35 games. Like 10 games are shameful. 35 games. Respect. We're cooking. We're, we're something's yeah. happening. Yeah, uh, no, I totally agree. So you, so you. So no, that. By the way, who's. that. That you don't need to send anyone. That just works. You can trade okay. everyone into cap space. Sure, I'll I'll send you Johnny Davis and Kyle Kuzma for the fun pick and fun deal. Throw a second back just Let's for funsies. Go. I love this. I fucking love this. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm taking Rob. All right, Rob Dillingham. Yeah, I'm taking Rob Dillingham. Let's, Let's go. go. So I unfortunately I can't make this trade on here. So we'll show yeah. up as the Pistons and the Spurs making those picks. But the Wizards have selected <laughs> Rob Dillingham, Kyle Kuzma, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, and Johnny Davis. You are Detroit Pistons along with Reed Shepard. This is this is an amazing draft so far. I gotta say, we're, we're so we're through the fifth pick and so, so Dread far- has almost drafted three times. <laughs> Parm, so Parm essentially got four players and traded up a pick for trading Kate. I just want to point that out there. <laughs> That's levels of this. And now you'll you'll have a chance of getting Cooper Flag next year. Well, not, not with the team I'm cooking. <laughs> no, oh, that's true. Yeah. Have you seen what I'm cooking here? Hey, the, the odds are flattened. Parm could well, win 35 true. games and win the lottery. What did the Hawks just do? Yeah. Uh, to, to Just saying. To, to do some actual serious talking through why I would do this um, as the Wizards, I think Rob is a true upside swing. Uh, I think that there is a possibility that he is quite a good player. I think there's also a possibility that he's just not an NBA player. There's there's a, a wide range of outcomes, but he's the kind of player... I, I just acquired two lottery tickets. Hey, is, a, is Bones Island an NBA player? Because Bones he's better than Bones Island. He is better than Bones Island. I don't so, think Bones Island's an NBA player, but that's that's my personal. Is he on an NBA roster, though? 
That is true. You're right. Just saying. I think the worst case outcome for Rob is like a tenth man, probably yeah. like a like a third or fourth bench guard. Um, but I think the realistic outcome for him is probably more like a good six man. And, and I think I just, that th I think that there's a sliver of a chance that he might just be that outlier small guard that's incredibly s talented and can can really hoop. I I I'm just really happy to take Ron and Rob as as uh, the Ron Rob combo and just they can be my they, they and Jordan Poole are my tank commanders. I still have Denny to turn into positive value somewhere else. Uh, and also, I just I, I think taking two scratch like lottery tickets in a draft that has like a lot of question marks just feels like a good thing to do for the Wizards. Yeah. So, all right, we are up to the sixth pick now, and now I have to revisit my board. But I oh, think this is yeah, Dread. Let's re let's recap. I think it is actually it is me again. I'm You're back up again. third uh, third time. Dread is is picking. Uh, I'm gonna recap the first five picks. Thank so you. we had Klingon, uh, go, uh, Klingon right to the Hawks. Uh, Wizards took Holland. Mm -hmm. Wizards then immediately tried to trade back in at three, but we were denied. So the Rockets took Topic. The Spurs traded out of four to the Pistons, who for took Cade. Reed. For Cade. Right, sorry. Cade Cunningham got traded already. Uh, and then I, as the Wizards, traded to the fifth pick for the Pistons, who now no longer needed it. Uh, and I sent bisexual Tobias Harris to them for the fifth pick and took Rob. Okay, so, that's Kyle Kuzma, by the way, for those of you keeping track. Of <clears throat> As Will has deemed him, Tobias Hair Riz. Yeah, um, there we go. So, so now, Dread, you are also up on the board, I believe, with the the Hornets six pick for the Charlotte Hornets, and uh, the two <laughs> guys who were projected to go with the top two picks, Rishishe and Sar. Are yeah. still on the board. I just I'm taking sorry. Out. Like unless <laughs> okay. unless somebody yeah. stops me, I'm taking sorry here. Like okay. like all right. So we will be drafting Alex Sar to the Charlotte Hornets with the six overall pick in this draft. It's a it's a nice combo. I gotta say, if Lamelo could stay healthy and Sar, out of traffic court, yeah, and out of traffic court and stop doing vehicular <laughs> crimes allegedly uh, on top of rooftops, uh. I think that this this is a nice young core. Sar, Lamelo, Brandon Miller, Mark Williams, if he can stay healthy, I don't I don't hate it. I like I like that team. Yeah, ultimately, this is like the only issue really with Sar right here is he doesn't have enough character concerns. He's far too you know <laughs> like actually like level headed. Other, I, I I'm not sure about the too normal. From that. He's too normal. But like again, Sar is not my number one player. If I can get Sar at six, I'm just thrilled, man. Like, the, like he is French, unfortunately. You know, yeah. we can't all be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> but you yeah. know, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe take... Webby broke the curse, man. It's it's you could be French and cool now. I think I don't know if Webby's cool, but he's very good. Webby very proudly talks about reading Brandon Sanderson to yeah. KOC. Yeah, so he's definitely not cool, but. He is a very good player. So maybe Wemby broke the generational French curse of being uh, lame and the majority of them being busts uh, because everyone hates Rudy Gobert, so we can't give him any credit. Um, all right, so that means that we are up to Sam. Who's who's Sam Presti? Who's the pervert Sam Presti? That would be Mr. Trill Bro Dude. Mr. Trill Bro Dude, look, you guys got fucking punked by uh, – you know, Luca, Kyrie, you guys weren't ready. What you need is a veteran presence. Hold on, hold on. I do just want to point out here. PJ Washington, um, if you if you were to simulate that series one hundred times, PJ Washington would not shoot seventy percent from three. Okay. The majority, and we Bucks would win posting. more yeah, games. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I'm saying yep. I'm <laughs> the calculations say Yeah. Sure, Mr. Presti. All right, well, here's a calculation for you. How about Jeremy Grant, who's just, you know, he's a great player. He's pretty useless to, um, <laughs> on our roster. Great pitch. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, he's just a good guy collecting dust over here, you know? like so Hey, I'm here as the right side of Joe Cronin's brain, and I, I, I'm just here yeah. to I, – I, how do you feel about playing hardball? Yeah. No, 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 we're not playing hardball because I want to tell you something else about Portland. 
we've got really good stranger danger laws. Uh, we've got great monitoring at the high schools in the area. So I feel pretty comfortable saying that maybe Jeremy Grant for Josh Giddy and your 12th pick um, is something that could work wonders for us. <coughs> As hey, someone, this, this is the other side of of, hey. uh, of his brain, uh, I, I'm not co-signing this. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of his brain is like morally. I don't know if I can stand on this. Um, so I want to. I'm I'm considering this right now. Um, as the local dribble pass shoot, Jeremy Jeremy Grant could dribble and shoot. I am a dribble pass shoot pervert. I would like to continue my demented five out spacing. That actually has been very effective for the Boston Celtics, the Indiana Pacers, us. We just got to the second round. And Jeremy Grant, by the numbers, looks like he shoots about 45% on catch and shoots. We have mm -hmm. a history with him. He's played here before in OKC. Yep. People forget he's a legend of this area. And uh, we need real shooters, not fake shooters. No, no more Lou Dorts. So, I will take you up on this offer, and I will trade Josh Giddy and the twelfth pick for Jeremy Grant. So we can write that down. I'm gonna have no picks by the end of this. I've traded all of my picks. I haven't made a selection yet, but um, I'll lock that in for you. Okay, and uh, we'll be taking Zachary Rishi with the uh, seventh pick. Okay. All right, so Zachary Richache has gone number seven to the – and by the way, the, the the Thunder have cap space, right, to fit in the Jeremy Grant contract. Yeah, so I don't yeah. – do, if, if yeah. even if they just send out Giddy. Yeah, it's okay. fine. Yep. So Giddy and 12 for Jeremy Grant, and then you select Richache. So yeah. is the logic here that he's just replacing Jeremy Grant? uh it's uh it's scoot insurance uh it's it's so we can uh you know we kind of light a fire under scoot i'm i'm not going to be paying giddy i'm trying to pump and dump him to be quite honest um but, be careful with that yeah well yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry pardon the phrasing but um i don't i i think jeremy grant is not gonna have i think that once cap space is kind of hard to come by i think we're gonna kind of miss our window for trading jeremy grant so i think we've got to kind of move off him right now um and the thunder are the only good team with cap space so i do think there is i i know it's like probably negative value for the blazers at this point but looking down the line i do think it's going to be a lot harder to trade jeremy grant next year and going forward so. he's got aura man all i'm saying is he's got aura now it, our, our rebounding problem is going to be even worse <laughs> now that we've traded for jeremy grant who's yeah. one of the worst wing rebounders in the nba but 40 something percent catch and shoot he can defend when he tries. He's got to buy back into a role, but we know that he is good culture guy. I like the fit. And he's got aura. Okay. Him and... What's that? No, noted, noted enthusiast of Oklahoma City as well. Yeah. yeah. Like this is just a one, perfect one of, like three players in NBA history who would enjoy living there. Yeah. And that 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 means the world to us here in OKC, a team that uh cannot attract free agents, cannot keep players past their second contract. So it is very important to us here that guys want to be here. So that ruins now, my plan is Danny as Danny Ainge to send you a pick for uh all of your draft picks for Lori Markinen. I mean, I would do that. Sam Presti would not do that. I know. So just keep that in mind. Um so also, yeah, Danny Ainge would Danny Ainge would somehow try to get more than all of, he would make it a three team trade to get all of their picks too somehow. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't even know. Apparently, Danny Ainge thinks that Larry Markkinen is uh, prime LeBron James now, so he will not be trading him for anything, anyone. I'm up on the clock again with the Spurs. This time, we will be making a selection. After last time, we traded for Cade Cunningham. I'm looking at the board right now. Oh, man. Okay, so, so keep in mind, I traded away Keldon Johnson. I still have, so my backcourt is Cade and Vassell, right? That's my that's my backcourt. My center obviously is Wemby. Um, I'm, I'm scrolling down this board, scrolling down a lot of guards, a lot of guards, a lot of bigs, not a lot of wings. Got to say. Whew. Let me let me uh, check out my board here. Just, uh, Stefan Castle seems to think that he's a point guard, even though I think he's more of a wing. So I guess we won't be selecting him there because he will he will say that he's better than Cade Cunningham, which honestly I don't know maybe he is. Um, 
I'm looking at my board and I'm saying, okay, Risha Shea is gone. Pretty much all of my top guys are gone. Please don't. Yep, do it. my top don't. five are gone. Please don't take him. I'm begging you. Don't do it. <laughs> begging you not to take him. Don't, 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 don't take him. Don't I don't know who you're talking about. The Spurs okay. have a real need for like a fake Eastern European guy from <laughs> Illinois. I think. <laughs> Buzelis. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, take, take the, him. T- pitch me up Buzelis's fit with Wemby, Cade, and Vassell. Uh, Arm- Victor Wembanyama is mm-hmm. one of the all-time greatest Snapchat pooping video, <laughs> like, basketball superstars. Yes. Up there with, like, Julian Newman. You know what I mean? He's, like, one of the all-timers. Sure. Uzelas is pretty fucking up there in terms of, like, just just aura, you know? Aura yeah. that, that you get only on, like, fake, like, 15-second YouTube short video form. Sure. Kind of things. Yeah, the Mikey Williams-style clips. Exactly. And, like, I think, you know... Pop has Alzheimer's, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, you can get him to do like a fun TikTok dance or something, you know? Like, you could really get you could really get the Spurs socials popping off in this later age. That's a good point. I, I do just want to point out here. I'm looking at the draft board right now. My pitch for, for Buzelis and Reed Shepard is that they, one, both need to get haircuts. And I do realize that that's ironic coming from me. But I'm a podcaster. You're going to the NBA. Why do you have bull cuts? First off, that is that's not going to work. You should absolutely get a haircut. And second off, if you want to go high in the draft as a new age white guy that's from America, Buzelis doesn't sound like he's from America. He's he's Lithuanian. He is from America. If you want to go higher as a new age white guy, you got to be cooler. You got to like put a Playboy Cardi lyric in your fucking Instagram bio. You got to have some swag. You got to have some juice. And these guys have they have no aura in comparison to the Chet Holmgrens Who's of the is world. Who's East Bay is in an empty gym. He's fully on his Ben Sim and shit. Okay, he's, he's curating. I was not aware. I was not aware that he was he was oh, up yeah, on he's, his. He's shit wearing like on, that. he's wearing only like tight fitting Under Armour like uh, tank tops. Like he's mm. going full. He's going fully into the Instagram model. Interesting. All right. Well. Having said all this, um, I'm drafting Cody Williams. Um, wow. And here's here's why. Cody Williams might suck, <laughs> but everyone in this draft might suck. I need someone who I think can be at least... I, I like some of what Cody can do. I don't know if he'll ever become a high-volume shooter. I like the fact that he can shoot and he can score. He can play on the wing. I hope he has, he has the tools on defense to maybe get better on that end. And I think right now when you have Wemby, you have Cade, and you have Vassell, I'm going to take a guy that's in my top 10, 11 anyway, best wing left on the board. I usually would draft for ceiling or potential over fit, but right now I have Wemby on my team. So I'm trying to win as soon as possible. And I have too many guards, so I can't take the few guards I had ahead of him. So I will be taking Cody Williams. For the she'll, San Antonio Spurs, sleep with one eye open tonight. Well, who who were you trying to t- who were you trying to select him for? I, 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 I the, <laughs> the 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 bastard Danny Ainge. Can, yeah, can you imagine? he would he would have he would have been a good pick for them at ten. Yeah, exactly. Like he would actually fit like very much directly. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Drew was already fucking up his team to accommodate Cave Cunningham. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Yeah. We're maxing Kane, okay? We're, we've already made the decision. And draft Twitter has influenced me. They have hacked my brain. I have a fucking Neuralink chip in my brain programmed by Draft Twitter to make me think that Devin Vassell and Kane Cunningham are future Hall of Famers. So that's what we're rolling with, okay? So we got Cody Williams on the wing. His brother's Jalen Williams, who was also another Draft Twitter and NBA nerd favorite. We're rolling with the punches here. Congrats, Wemby. You're going to win the championship next year. Anyway, anyway, we have up on the clock the ninth pick. We have Mr. Parmesan again on the board with the Memphis Grizzlies. Mm-hmm. Parm. Mm-hmm. There's only one two time Naismith player of the year. Oh, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> 
it's Zach Eady or bust. Like, let's go. Re- it, might, it might be Zach Eady and bust. I was not going to pick, <laughs> with this pick. I was not going to pick anyone that's not a center. Um, yes. you're cooking. I really like the other three guys that are available as well. Like, I think Filipowski is min- like like Christian Leitnerified Grayson Allen. Like, I think he's just gonna be good. You know what I mean? He, he re- re- well, I like Ulrich Tomchi, but Zach Eady is is my goat. He's, he's prime Brook Lopez. Yes. Instantly, like you just leave him in drop coverage with Jaron Jackson. Like that, that's a sick fucking front court. Like I'm thrilled with that. So your rebounding problems do not exist anymore. You have a four who spaces the floor in Jaron Jackson. Also, a good help defender to cover up for some of Edie's deficiencies. I love it. We love the fit. We love Zach yeah. Edie on the Memphis Grizzlies. Also, another team that hired a ton of draft Twitter guys. So if I'm telling you, if Edie goes to one of these smart drafting teams, I'm I'm like all, I already have Edie yeah. ninth on my board, which is exactly where Parma is selecting him. I'm all in, all in on the Edie train. If one of these smart drafting team takes him, I so, am also calling Danny Ainge just to let him know that there is a white guy from Illinois with a 40 inch fur that's on the draft board. <laughs> That is your boy. That is your man, and he should be a member of the Utah Jazz. So, I'm, things to consider, Dredd. I, you know, you're not wrong. I am Danny Ainge. You are Danny Ainge. And, and also, he did go to, I believe, uh, this particular white boy from Illinois went to Sunrise Christian Academy. Oh my god. Fucking hand and glove fit, dude. Do you think that he's dra- drinking caffeine? I probably not, man. Come on. Uh I, I am while I am here. Um I'm not calling for a trade right now. But I'm sending Daryl Morey a text and I'm like, hey, you up? For a trade up? No, no, not for a trade up. I'm just sending him a text. I'm just checking to see if he's up. I'm Daryl Morey in this situation, which yep. I mean, look at me. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> what is the offer you're thinking of? What players are possibly available in this situation? Uh, again, I want to make it clear. I, I am. I'm. I'm dropping. Well, first off, I'm going to try to offer you John Collins okay. for everything Continue. you have. But, but then I'm going to say, <laughs> hey, Daryl Morey and, and Danny Age ever being able to negotiate a trade? Hey, Danny, it could happen one time. If I remember correctly, uh, Daryl, I, I know we've had our, our differences. I've, you know, I, I've just been jealous of your crumble cookie love. Mm-hmm. You know, it's I, I can't have crumble cookies. They have a little caffeine in them. <laughs> you know, I, I uh, we, we don't need to do this right now. I just want it to percolate in the back of your mind. You know, how you doing, girl? Uh, and I, I want you to be thinking about what Lori Markkinen would look like in Sixers. Right I've been thinking about it a lot, bud. I've been thinking about it. A good amount, I will say. But I also, I'm Daryl Morey, so I will draw the line at a certain point in these trade negotiations. I understand. I'm, I'm just saying, there are some no protection firsts, including a, an LA Clippers first out there. Mm-hmm. And and so we got first, for James Harden. You did get it for James Harden. You know, mm-hmm. great, masterful trade from you, Daryl. Yeah, Hall of Fame player. Hall obviously. of Fame yeah, player yeah. who I, I acquired. And yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 once again. You you got some time before your pick. I I just want to like slip it in your mind. How okay. uh, <laughs> is a Hall of Fame player? What's that? Laurie Markkinen's a Hall of Fame player. <laughs> <laughs> think, think One time, all no, no, no. Think think about it. Think okay. about it. Just think okay. about it I love this. I love this. Okay. How okay. many people live in Finland? Like five million. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's one of the most famous Finns of all time. He's going in the Finland Hall of Fame easily, first ballot. That's actually a very good okay. Point. I thought you were talking about Canton, not for Finland person. So it's no, not no, even no, Canton, no, no, by no, the no, way. No. It's Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, the, that's football. The, the, the fucking oh, sorry, basketball yeah, Hall Springfield. of Fame is in yeah. Springfield, Massachusetts. Right. It's a giant gray orb, and I drive by it every time I go see my partner. Also, I do just want to point out here. 5.5 million people in Finland farm. You were almost exactly oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been playing I've been playing the the geography immaculate grid every day for the last two months. I've been like absolutely plugged in. I can tell you right. the HDI of like most countries just so, I'm taking Oh, I hate to do it. 
Oh, uh, am I really? Am I gonna do this? Does anyone want this pick before I just do something that's gonna make me vomit a little bit inside? No. No, make the pick. I'm taking Dalton Connect. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm the taking quirked the up other white one. boy. <laughs> I'm taking a, the quirked up white who, boy. Who, hold on. I don't know if you've ever seen a photo of Dalton Connect, but the <laughs> funniest thing someone it's ever so said. It's so unsettling. Someone ever, someone ever said that he looks like he looks like a deep fried meme version of Grant Williams when he played for Tennessee. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but Dalton Connect, shooter, 23 years old. If you want to win right now, um, I mean, if you think he's an NBA player and a legit shooter, then I think that he can help you uh, with that. I mean, look, Utah loves, they love white shooters in Utah. Like, no boy, 4chan. <laughs> um, um, so let's, let's look at who's next on the board. So Dread took Dalton Connect at 10 I believe to add more Blazers spacing. After the trade, right? Or no, it's the Bulls. It's the Bulls. Sorry. This is the Bulls. So yes. the Bulls are on the clock with pick I'm, number I'm, I'm 11. I'm making a call to the Kings real quick first. Okay. Um, I, I remember you guys were really interested in one Mr. Zachary Levine. Um, something that I worked out here, a trade that works uh, for all of us involved here, you guys could have Zach Levine back to add to your wonderful core of uh, De'Aaron Fox and uh, DeMontis Sabonis simply yeah, that's, for that's the little, little price of... Uh, uh, Harrison Barnes, uh, Kevin Herter, and the 13th pick in this draft. This is a bad draft. You're like, killing me. You're killing me by making me give up Red Velvet. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me with Kevin Herter. Coming off a really bad year, though. Maybe he's washed. Yeah, he's Levine 20. famously coming off a good year, so that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Levine with very intact his, minutes. His heart his. wasn't in it. You know, sometimes you're in a dinky, like, tiny little town like Chicago when you need to be in a major metropolis like Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. He's a big Greta Gerwig fan, so it makes sense that he would want to move to Sacramento. Uh, Parm, question for you. Yeah. Have you considered the person who signed... Zach Levine to that original RFA deal mm -hmm. was Vladi Divac. So if you want to continue on tradition, I, don't. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't want to continue the tradition of Vladi Divac. I'm just saying he was the one who signed him to that RFA deal. By the it, way, I'm people so laugh at Vladi. What a brilliant move that would have been if Zach Levine had signed with them on like four years, eighty million or whatever it oh, was. Yeah. Steel, he made an all-star team on that contract. Yeah. The problem was being literally from fucking Serbia and having Luka Doncic available in draft and then thinking, I'm going to make Marvin Bagley the third place small forward. <laughs> yeah, that that, like, that quite, not quite as good. as calculus. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, on one thing, good contract for Zach Levine passing on Luka Doncic when he's basically from your home country. <laughs> not great. Not ideal. Um. So, so are you interested in that deal, Parm? Um, I mean, like, I have to give up that pick. Yeah. Which I really think they kind of need. But also, it's one pick and then just fill. Like, yeah, I'll do it. Let's go. It's, Let's go. it's, it's Harrison Barnes and Kevin Herter and one first and I get Zach Levine. Yes. yes. And yeah, yeah. Show. Like I'm not thrilled with it, but I'll probably say yes because that's like the cheapest possible deal I think you can get for Zach Levine. Okay, so you so then your starters next year are De'Aaron Fox, Zach Levine, Keegan Murray Keegan at Murray. the three, and then Trey. Are we starting Trey Lyles at the four now? Because <laughs> I don't know who your four is with Harrison Barnes gone. Well, you probably. Well, I mean that I kind of think. Uh, in a, in a non-joking way, but it is also really funny. Sasha Vizankov's concerns about Let's go. trying to be traded are no longer valid anymore. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Hey, We've opened is up also minutes, good bro. enough that like I think he could probably he would probably be serviceable there. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So Parm, I like it. Parm has made the deal. So Sam, Catch you're yeah. You'll I've be got on a the lot of control twice in board. the next two three picks actually. Actually, yeah. next yeah next three picks are all Sam. One for the okay. Bulls. One for the Blazers and then one for the Kings. Or oh, I'm sorry, but for the Bulls again. So uh, the Bulls, we will be – you're going to have to scroll down for this one. 
We're taking Bub Carrington. Right Let's here. go. Bub Carrington, Carlton Carrington is going to rejuvenate. I am done. I am not Karnashovich. I will get you an exciting player. We are back, Bulls Nation. Let's fuck Over Buzelis? Over Chicagoland's finest? Yes. No, I'm not doing that. He's a terrible player. He, you, you, Buzelis will be there after I'm done making my picks. Let me just put that out here. So, uh, okay. They, I do just want to point out, Parm is right, though. They do want to move up for Buzelis. In, in real life. In real life, they do. The, their plan is to try to move up and get Buzelis. I'm just I'm, saying. I'm, I'm underlining how much better I am at this than uh, AK uh, by, by doing this. So, okay. now I am... Uh, so. With my next pick, I am the Portland Trailblazers, I believe. Yes, correct? you are the Portland Trailblazers. We we have no, traded. No, 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 no. You're yes, not the you're, yes. Wait, I'm the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, well, hold on. I traded for the pick, though. Come on. Oh, right. Never left, mind. Sorry. Your left-handed wait. brain made the trade. Yes, wait, wait, yeah, you're yeah, the yeah, Portland wait, Trailblazers wait. at 14. Greg. I forgot that. I forgot that he had the Portland Trailblazers at 12. I was like, wait. Yeah. I was just making sure my notes were correct because I have a whole yeah. bit planned. Oh okay, no, yeah. no, no, no. We'll, we'll get to the bit. Um. I will be taking one Mr. Yves Messi, the center here. Okay. So right, my, the, my bid is dead, by the way. You took the player <laughs> I was going to take. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe Cronin. So <laughs> Yves Messi from yeah. all right, another athletic uh, guy to add to the mix in Portland. Yeah. Uh, the when potential. We Aiton, when we get rid of Aiton, this is going to be a movie in Portland. I'm just going to put that out there. What does Aiton have two years left on his deal? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is, uh, that's fine. Don't worry. We're getting him out of here. We're getting him. We're getting him the hell out of here. We, um, we, are, we are removing him. So yeah. uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're a bastard, dread, and say you were going to draft the best Cameroonian. Isn't he Cameroonian, or am I he, confusing him with someone else? Uh, I believe he is Cameroonian. Yeah, uh, I was going to say he's. He, I was going to. I, I I was because I was going to do a Joel Embiid bit. Yes, I was going to say you were going to say the best next center, uh, Cameroonian center in the NBA. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I I can read your mind. Um, <laughs> I've become predictable. <laughs> so uh, so can you uh, pull up, Sam? You're up on the board again <laughs> for the Bulls. now for the Bulls for the second time in three. Does any is anyone interested in trading up for Stephen Castle? By the way, no, no. Okay, uh, it's Stefan Castle. By the way, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, read, read it. It's right there, <laughs> Stefan. I know. I'm the dyslexic one. <laughs> Stefan, you're not. Stephon. You yeah. like I, to read. I've never mispronounced a player's name. Yeah. Speaking of, by the way, uh, uh, players I've never mispronounced their name of. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Stefan Castle reminds me a lot of uh, Anthony Black. Oh, I didn't mispronounce. It. Who did I mispronounce? Like, who cares? Don't worry. Casey Wallace. Yes. Ah, Jason yes. Right. Kassan. Kassan. I said Kassan a yes. lot. Yeah. yeah, I was like, "How could you mispronounce Anthony Black?" Right. Yeah, I was like, "Wait, that doesn't make sense." <laughs> I, I Anthony no. blacked out. Anyway, continue. Um, I don't love this. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway. I feel like at this point, I can't let Stefan Castle slide anymore. Um, okay. I don't love the fit here for the Bulls, but it is good value. We'll just figure it out with him, Kobe, and Bub. Um, so. <laughs> Okay, it's so not what I planned. I really did not expect him to be here. So, um, are I you bringing back so. Demar as well? Just a quick question. No, no, okay. no. All right, so not, Demar not in my there. world. In real life, yes, that will definitely happen. Yes. So they will be paying Demar Derozan forty million dollars. Forty million dollars. Yes. Yeah, Parm. So. Any thoughts on the Bulls possibly paying Demar Derozan forty million dollars a year next year? So, like, I've been. I, I feel like I'm going crazy with how the contracts work, but then I just saw that article like a month ago. I don't remember if it was a reliable source or not, but they were saying after the new CBA, like Vic Wembanyama could make a hundred million dollars a year. Yeah, in a few years. So like, so yeah, so yeah, like forty million dollars for Demar Derozan might as well be the Kemba Walker contract. He was getting paid like ten million dollars to be like the second best point guard in the East. It's true, although that is the Victor Webadiaba deal is like what four years away, five years away from from being able to potentially make that. I even think that one might be a second con or a second extension, oh, okay. third contract, because SGA is going to be the first player to make eighty million a year when he signs his extension uh, after one of these next two seasons. So, but yeah, I mean, look, Demar Derozan is thirty five, but guys get paid nowadays. Mm -hmm. They do. I just don't know why the Bulls are the team to do it. <laughs> Why are they doing it? I agree. Makes no sense. 
because the Clippers don't have the cap space to sign DeMar DeRozan? I guess that's really the only thing. But what if the Clippers lose Paul George and they say, we'll oh, do a yeah. sign and trade? We'll pay we'll pay you twenty five million a year to come here, and we'll send you whoever to make the the deal work. Although I guess, what do you send PJ Tucker, uh, Terrence Mann, and a first round pick? That's really you have to do something like that. But there's going to be no market for Demar Derozan, is what I'm trying to get at here. Yeah. So, yeah. Did I just black out? Did we have three Sam picks in a row? Sam just picked three times in a row. I might have to start banning trades because <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Parm have made like one pick each, <laughs> and Dread and Sam have made pretty much every fucking pick in this draft. The market I love, inefficiency. I love, I, I love how we were saying like nobody's gonna want to trade into or up in this draft. Like, <laughs> like, like yeah. everyone. These picks are going to be so dog shit, no valuable, and me and Dredd are like, give me! <laughs> you can have it. Yeah, Jeremy Grant for 12. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you got Josh Giddy in there, you know. That's a yeah, negative. We're, we're, we are, yeah, I was going to say, we're 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 flipping him to That's Detroit. available. Yeah, say. yeah. If you um, trade the Sixers pick, I'll, I'll never forgive you, by the way. I have to, I'm not trading loaded. the Sixers pick, yeah. I'm not trading the Sixers pick. Well, um, we'll so see Lori Markin and has to say about that. <laughs> Lori's on the phone. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Although I, knowing knowing dread, that trade will never get completed. <laughs> so, uh, you were up on the board with the Trailblazers again. The Trailblazers. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm the, I'm the right side of his brain, and and you know what I I think we need we need you know there's a real part of me that wants to just take another guard just to commit to the bit. Just but I have a, I have a question for you though. Yeah, yeah. Who was taken with the first Blazers pick again? Sam, uh, you were the one who took it. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was muted. Um, yes, I the first Blazers pick here. I'll I'll, I'll run through. I'll do a quick update from six on. Sar went to the Hornets. Mm-hmm. Um. Seven, you drafted, uh, or I drafted Risha Shea, okay. um, but I also traded um, Jeremy Grant for Gideon 12 at that point. Okay. You drafted Cody Williams to the Spurs. Parm drafted Zach Eady to the Grizzlies. Dalton Connect went to the Jazz. Um, I drafted Bub Carrington to the Bulls. With the 12th pick that I previously had, uh, I drafted Yves Missy uh, okay. to the Blazers. And okay. then with the Bulls, I drafted Stefan Castle. So. Okay, so you so Missy, Risha Shea, and now Dredd is making the third Blazers, Blazers pick. pick of the lottery. <laughs> and, yes. and I'm, I'm going to do just an insane reach. I'm going to let you know right now. Okay. Like, I understand that Matas Buzelis is on the board. I understand <laughs> that uh, Tijane... Actually, Tijane Saloon is like a little bit tempting. Um, because he's so young. Don't, and if don't do it to us. Are you going to take another guy that's in the same realm as to Jane Saloon? Uh, no? no, probably okay. not. Okay. I, I am considering, however, Dayron Holmes the second. I am, I am considering staying I'm true sick. to my actual board and okay. like legitimately going after a player I think is just good. Who, who, by the way, ESPN has 45 on their board. How is Dayron Holmes number 45 on their right. board? Well, yeah, I, I, I understand. Like, yeah. Oh, and I, that... I, he's under Pell Larson. Who the fuck is that? Pell, Come on. Oh, dude, Pell, Pell Larson's fucking money. It, uh, Pell that's, Larson all, that's, that's all I needed to, to prove to you. <laughs> That Pell Larson. No, he's ahead like really of Holmes. He's gonna like be in the G League for like three years and then drop <laughs> out and like be like a solid NBA player. This, like, just this watch. I, I'm giving the us Blazers together. We're getting an A plus uh, draft rating. Dread and I killed it for the Blazers tonight. This is an incredible haul. The Blazers walking away with Missy, Risha Shea, and now Dayron Holmes. So. They they have a, a wing in Richeche, they have a four or five in Holmes, and they have a a big in five in uh, Missy as well. So to go with hit- Simons, to go with Shaden Sharp, to go with uh, possibly Scoot. Scoot, the idea of Scoot if he turns it around. <laughs> yeah. So things are looking up, Blazers fans. We've got your back. We love to and, see and, it. And again, I understand that like on paper, Dayron is like a massive reach here. I just, he's one of the players I am most confident with. He's just going to be an he's NBA, an NBA player. guy. Yeah. Right. I have him, I have him 10 on my board right now, I think, maybe eight. Um, and I just want to say, 
Dayron Holmes, if he, if the NBA lets the Denver Nuggets get Dayron Holmes with the 28th pick in the draft, they all should be in Guantanamo Bay because that guy would be so good for the fucking Nuggets. This is deranged. What's deranged? This is derangement. This is the most deranged, the, the most deranged commentary I've, se- I've heard on all my appearances this podcast. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's, 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 he's literally, he's just OB Toppin, but a little worse. <laughs> what? I can't believe you. How dare you? Oh my God. I can't old, believe you're not a Dayron Holmes guy. He's just a, and he's an upperclassman Dayton flyer power forward who That's had a good true. season. When have I seen this before? Tumani Kamara last year? Or arthritis. The Blazers literally took one last year. Wasn't Tumani Kamara also the same? Yeah, and then they regretted it. Like, Tumani Kamara was like an actual relevant player. Well, the Suns drafted him and then traded him to the Blazers. But yes, you're right. He was good for the Blazers. He was a great second-round pick. And also, Parm. How could you not like Dayron Holmes? I'm shocked. I'm out on the Dayton Flyers, dude. I'm I'm out on the Flyers. Just... Did no Dayton guys on my no board. Dayton, no Dayton. I'm out on the Flyers. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not picking Johnny Furphy either because of my longtime loathing of Bill Self. I honestly, I respect that. To be fair, I respect no, no Furphy. Although Furphy, Furphy's got such a Parm guy name. That's also a huge draft bus name. I just want to say there are so many guys in this draft that just feel like draft bus names. So, so what, but, what I will I will say is the guy that is higher on my board than Dayron Holmes, but I just can't justify taking with the the guard cluster uh, smuck in um in in Portland was Devin Carter. Who I sure. Now I mean, there are plenty to... of guys that are probably falling because no, not these teams all don't need guards. Right. Well, I'm going to now drown myself in a lake the moment Sam takes it with the Heat. Hold on, Sa- Sam. I gave Sam the Heat's pick, which could be a great outcome for the Heat or the worst outcome of all time possible. <laughs> so, Sam, you are up on the board with the Miami Heat's pick. Which direction are you going to go here? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a rare. I'm going to actually gonna try to trade out of this pick. Um, I'm a little annoyed because I swear to God I had this thought of today. Or, and then I listened to fucking Simmons today, and he suggested pretty much the same thing. So, Parm, I'm calling the Hawks up. We want to make Trey Young a Miami Heat. Um, and Ooh. we have this 15th pick. We have uh, Tyler Hero. We have uh, Duncan Robinson, who's some filler. We have our own 2029 first that we can trade. That's a ways out. And we have this number 15 pick with a lot of really interesting players still on the board. I really don't want Duncan Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> That's your hang up with the let, trade? Let, let, let me see. Let me see. I, he has no juice. He has no <laughs> swag. He, he won't survive in Atlanta. It's not right. You don't think you don't well, think he's Harry, got the Harry Rozier's salary works though. Uh, Terry Rozier's salary does work. Let me let me double check that because it is. So you would get Hero Ed Rozier in this scenario, Farm? Um, I like that better, honestly. Let's go. It works. It works accordingly. The Heat are supposedly a second apron team, but I think once they renounce all their cap holds and everything, I think it's okay. So I mean, um, it literally doesn't make any fucking sense for the Hawks to have Tyler Hero, Scary Terry, and Javante Murray all making like $30 million a year. But it is funny. It is like one of the funny. funniest things you can do. A lot, of, a lot of combo guard play. So I'm just putting that out there. Do we have a deal? No, I think we're going to keep Trey. Let's go. <sighs> okay. All right. I will uh I'll take Devin Carter then. Oh, fuck. I know we I can't hate, let I the heat it. get I, Devin I, Carter. Uh, I don't I don't like it, but I'm he's going to be such a demon. I I'm a, I'm I have a hammer. <laughs> and I This I'm is going to happen it. by the way. I do just want to point out yeah, everyone's you have to, Devin Carter has been torturing me at, as a UConn fan. He's the Big East rat mode king. He goes to the Providence school. Uh, He's one of the friars. He's in Providence. In Providence, great city, by the way. Love Providence. I would never say anything bad about Providence. But the school? The school? Oh, that's a den of villainy. And he's I do just want to point out here that uh, Dredd is a Celtics and 
UConn fan. His team is about to win the NBA championship. UConn I, I has won back to back titles and he's worried about the Miami Heat and Providence. Continue anyway. They, what is, what hey, what is the key of fascism? <laughs> Making people believe that you are the oppressed. <laughs> and I am the oppressed. Have you seen the Big East? Have you seen what Devin Carter, Big East player of the year, did to us? He's, he's gonna be a demon. Good. Gonna be he's a demon uh, in Miami. Can, can I ask a can I ask you a question as a yes. as a noted uh, Providence Friars hater? Because this is a take I developed a couple of months ago. Uh, I think Devin Carter might be a, a Providence College dead spots on the floor merchant, and I and I'd like to know uh, your response to that because I saw that they actually Providence I College. I don't know if, if if you know this, but they almost got kicked out of Division One. For what? <laughs> Their playing surface has been so bad and so full of dead spots that uh, teams don't want to play on it. Yeah. Wow, it, it's it's like a legitimately one of the weirdest home. Like court I think like guys guys are like getting like splinters on the court and shit. Like it's Jesus. like really bad. You know it's that's a really bad. bad court. You know that's bad because Baylor, twenty years before they won the national title. There was a murder on the team, and they didn't even get kicked out. One of the players killed another player, and the coach allegedly helped cover some stuff yeah, up. Bliss? Yeah, man. Bliss? So that and that that's how bad the court is for Providence. That they well, almost got kicked it, out. I think it, when it, they've had games rain out. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, it no, leaks. that's for real. Like they they've had games rain out because this the I think Providence College plays in an arena that's like ninety years old or something. So yeah, has like, there ever awesome. been a good NBA player that's went to Providence? Because yeah, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Dunn doesn't count. Like a million. Well, uh, didn't Ray Allen go there? Uh, no, he went to no, UConn. UConn. He, you, wait, did did Ray Allen go? I Who will come find you, uh, Chris Dunn. Out there. Chris Dunn is the best. Uh, right? Yeah, Lamar Odom went to the University of Rhode Island. Close yeah, enough. he went to URI. There yeah. you go. We'll just give it to him. <laughs> We'll give that it to would make that would make them the most mad out of anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Hey, the Italians of Providence. I apologize. I don't. I don't want any problems with you. I, I live in South East, Philadelphia, where there are also you, a lot you, of DC know, kids. Were cool. We were all going to fish. Know, together. Actually, there's one very notable Providence Friars uh, player who is not a star player in the NBA, but has been a coach of multiple teams, and that is Kevin's own Billy Donovan. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, honestly, wow. more important, David Duke did go to Providence. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Let's go. You know ball le legend David Duke. Um, not the bad one. Anyway. Also, um, uh, God, God Sham God went to Providence. God, God Sham God did yep. go to Providence College. Yeah, I did yeah. say that. Oh, you I said that? It. Okay. I saw sorry. it in the comments. It's all right. Uh, it's all right. Okay. Another classic say I'm not listening moment. It's all yeah. good. It's fine. Uh, as, as I was too busy looking. <laughs> you were you were investigating. Yes. Um. So... All right, so that means that the Heat have selected Devin Carter right before my pick, unfortunately. I, I'm, I'm willing to re-engage on the trade idea, Dredd, but I know that there's no realistic deal that Daryl Morey and, and Danny Ainge are going to be able to come here no, for. So tell me how many first-round picks you want for Laurie Marketing. We're cosplaying two insane people. Uh, yes. I, I want three real firsts. Done. Done deal. Cool. Do you want 16? Um, I actually want really 16? don't care. I don't really want 16. Okay, then I'll give you our other first. So we'll give you the we'll, – I will give you the Philadelphia 76ers two – I'll give you them unprotected. <laughs> cool. And the Clippers pick unprotected as well for Laurie Markkinen because now we're going to go sign Paul George in free agency. Yeah, that sounds, um, that sounds great. Uh, can I can I get uh, Jeff Downton Jr. and Ricky Council? I draw the line at Ricky Council. <laughs> <laughs> Like not 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 even really a bit. I, I don't want to trade Ricky Council. <laughs> that I'll let the trade fall through. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're, this, we're, okay, that's fine. We're we're. <laughs> this is the yeah. This is the rights to Ricky Council podcast. So you right. can't you can't. I have to keep Ricky Council. Then you got to throw in an extra second. That's fine. I'll throw in an extra six. So three first for Laurie Marketed in the future. Yeah. Laurie Marketed is a Philadelphia 76er, and we still have our pick here because you don't really want anyone that's on the board here. Uh, just to recap who's on the board here, uh, Buzelis is on the board, uh, Jacoby Walter, Jared McCain, Tristan De Silva, Kyle Filipowski, Isaiah Collier. You know what? Since we got, we're getting Paul George and Laurie Marketed. I'm not a big Isaiah Collier fan. 
But since we've gotten our starting wings at the yeah. three and the four, he's a worthy I'm, swing. I'm taking a swing here on Isaiah Collier Co- at uh, number a 16. Year, a year ago, Collier was the theoretical consensus number one pick. And he, and he had a really rough year at USC. Mm-hmm. Um, and he still has a lot of turnover problems. But he's an opportunity. He's a player that if you can change a little bit of his play style and get him to buy into, like, frankly speaking, like maybe not doing as much of bringing the ball up the floor, he could I was gonna he say, could really pop. I was going to say Philadelphia 76ers, if the shot comes along, <laughs> right. our, his, our history with that is great. So right. you, you got to take it from me. I'm watching Derek Lively in the playoffs. The ass coach tax is very real. <laughs> yeah, it's the very good. The ass coach tax is oh. the realest thing. E. E. Giles makes a really good point, actually. You can't trade for Laurie, draft someone at 16, and sign Paul George cap-wise, because 16 will make too much money. Um, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. If if you make sure that that I get... I'll take an extra two seconds, and I'll take Paul Reed. Oh, no, you know what That doesn't work either, because he's not... I yeah, can they, guarantee the they just coming. literally don't have enough money, because they're literally um, the only two rostered players right, right now are How about this? Nazi. I'll yeah. make you a deal. I'm the magic at 18. I'll get into here. You got to pay the magic to for you to move back two picks. Okay. <laughs> right. Because we want to, yeah, sure. So we'll throw in like two seconds. You get 60 or a second. You get 16. But I already yeah. took Isaiah Collier. Fuck, well, you can, can't, you can't pay him. Right. I, 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 I'm, I'm imagining a world where we get Laurie marketed. And well, now we... you just have to settle for the better, free, the better guy, which is B.I. You get we're... Brandon Sixers Ingram <laughs> Let's go. and Laurie Markkinen. We're so we're uh, so, we already redeemed one twenty-seven-year-old <laughs> swaggy wing last year. We can do it again. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, how about this? Yeah. Whatever. Tw- um, there you go. I twenty-nine. Mean, yeah. So we get pick twenty-nine. You get sixteen. You Isaiah Collier is the Jazz. I don't want. I don't want to take a pick here. <laughs> You're Fuck! keeping sixteen. <laughs> Unless Look, you want to pay the... I'm just imagining on draft night, Daryl having his ADHD go wild and forget that you can't take someone at 16. He's like, fuck! Oh no, we don't have enough money for Paul George now! He's calling around trying to dump Isaiah Collier's $4 million contract. He's like, we will we will attach an extra first to get off this deal. Like I said, I'm, I'm the magic at 18. I think 18 actually is just enough money less. I I will give you your you will give me two seconds and I'll give you eighteen. This is unbelievable. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to do that. So Isaiah Collier is a magic then because I've already no, 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 I'm not Isaiah taking Collier. Isaiah. You well, I already him. took him. So. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see. <laughs> so we're saying Isaiah Collier is a magic. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want Isaiah Collier. I don't. Want, I'm just, I'm trying to get a player that can shoot. Fuck! God damn it! All right, well, can I go back? I can't change that on here. <laughs> I'm imagining this just ruining the Sixers' plans. Classic yeah, Sixers is, slip up. The funniest outcome. <laughs> They're on the clock like the Minnesota Vikings that one year in the draft, and they forget to go up. <laughs> okay, un- undo, un- pick is- undo pick is top left. There we go. Undo previous pick. Okay. We're back, baby. The Sixers are back on the clock. <laughs> Which is actually the magic. So okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, as the magic, <laughs> sorry. Uh, give me a second. Um, ooh, that's uh, that's uh, there's a, there's a lot to go through here. Um, so I have two players that I'm like realistically considering as the magic. Like a, a reach for me would be Jalen Tyson. I just think again, like I'm pretty confident that Tyson is an NBA player, mm-hmm. uh, and he's like a shooting specialist, which is what they drafted. <laughs> Howard to be and like Howard's just not good. So, yeah. um, uh, I'm also like vaguely considering, um, some of like the, uh, like your, your, uh, what's, what's his face? Um, uh, Tristan De Silva, who I think is a pretty versatile player, sure. kind of a win now player. Uh, I, I am actually going to take, however, Matas here. Oh with, my God. The- yeah. Zealous to the magic. Yeah. Let's go. Shit. Uh, now I'm going to be really mean to Bronny. I was really hoping I was, I was going to be able to walk away from that Scott Free. <laughs> feel like we can't turn down Buzelis. We if uh, sorry Bronny. Damn. It. And, and and then I'm gonna I, I again 
it is not a I am confident that he is going to be good. It is the at this point, he is a player worth taking a swing on. Sure. I don't disagree with that, actually. I actually think that if you're here, I have Buzelis like 18 or 19 on my board. But if you're at this pick, sure, why not? The Magic the magic have added. Um, I got Buzelis. paid two seconds to take Buzelis instead of Collier. I'm fine with that. Yeah, there you go. All right. You are on the clock, Parm, with the, by the way, I do just want to point out, are we sure LeBron James is going to be on the Lakers before you make this pick? <laughs> Uh, I don't care because I'm Rob Palenka and I'm barred out. I'm on like six Xanax. I'm like having a blast. We're like drinking rosé with Genie. Like I- I'm just trying to pick the most social media savvy player available. Okay. And that's going to be Jared McCain, I think. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's a good pick. Jared McCain, baby. The shooting specialist. If LeBron comes back, great. If he doesn't. We got another uh we got another garden here that is uh hopefully better than um I can't I, even I, Jalen Hood Shafino. Is that who they selected yeah, last year? Yeah. I debated Collier, I debated uh Jacoby Walter. I think all three of them kind of I, I would pick all three of them with the Lakers pick and I'd be jumping for joy. So I, I, I'm realizing I, I need I need the cap nerds in the comments to Crunch some numbers here for me. What pick do I need to trade back to to be able to sign Paul George in free agency? Because I have the 18th pick, and I'm pretty certain that still is like $3.7 million. Uh, okay, let me, I can tell you that right now. I think uh, I would need to trade back if I'm the Sixers and I'm trying to make this cap space plan work. I think that you – I don't know if we can pick it all because Laurie makes 18. Yeah, we're going to need Paul George to take a little bit of a pay cut. Uh, eight, too. Eight, eight, 18 next year is $2.9 uh, million. So uh, this pick is available <laughs> again. You know what? I- I'm the magic. I'll call you. You know, like whatever. We'll, we'll give you two second. seconds for it. Uh, what is, Arm. How short? I have not looked. What is the Lakers cap situation? <laughs> right now, the Lakers cap situation. Uh, they don't have cap space, but this they would get the exception here if you can trade for him and, and still sign whoever you can get here the Sixers can't because they're trying to get cap space the um, Lakers are not have no route to cap space unless LeBron the thing is, we don't have picks either that's also a problem I would just would like to have another I would just like to draft right now okay if I'm the Lakers so I would love to go I would love to go double down with the with with Duke basketball players okay question for you is there any way we can get a future let's say the Lakers have a 2029 first we can get that, like, we'll take it top 10 protected. I'll do top 15. Okay, top 15 protected, Lakers 2029 20, first. And that will be this this pick for the Lakers, and they can take whoever they would like. Okay. Okay, so you will be taking uh, Kyle Filipowski? Well, I think that, yeah. Uh, really... I Could mean, get I mean I'm Rob Palinka. I have to take Kyle Filipowski. <laughs> but my actual real life opinion is mm-hmm. I really think Kalel Ware is super slept on. And Let's go. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I'm not going to lie. For the magic, I thought about taking Kalel Ware. Um, I have Kalel Ware higher on my board than Filipowski. Yeah. I, I do as well. I just think Filipowski is like the, if I'm the Lakers, he is. The guy to play with AD? Well, no, he's just great on television. Like, he, <laughs> like, I, I, no, like seriously, if you think about it, like he he ran those sports talk shows on ESPN for like a good week when he cried about like almost getting murdered on the floor by a fan <laughs> when they like poked him in the chest or whatever. Like he really milked that for like for like eight hours a day on ESPN for a week. It's a good point. And Jared McCain's the TikTok star. You're getting yeah. you're getting clout, guys, for sure. And that's what, I, that's what I think the, the Lakers are focusing on because we don't we have no clout guys either. That's I think the, the biggest indictment of the Rob. Oh, Bowen. and oh, Rob points out guys, but with no swag, two two Duke guys for JJ if they hire him as coach as well. That's also true. So, how, what what was this trade by the way? Uh, I got a twenty twenty nine Lakers first uh, top fifteen protected. For this okay. pick because I'm the Sixers and I can't use my cap. Okay, I, I need cap. I, I I did the math. You would need to trade down to 27 to get under 
two. Well, that we've two. already done it. Okay. We've all done, right. Well, I was doing there. the math down here, and it's all ruined now. Okay. <laughs> so Sorry. you said twenty twenty nine. Uh, uh, first, first. Pick first. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Top fifteen protected. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Top fifteen. Yeah, feed, feed, feed me, Filipowski. He made double Duke. Let's go, Filipowski. You are a Los Angeles Lakers. Longshire coach, tax players. Let's go. Look at this guy. He's he's got swag, dude. All right. So, so it's, Ka- not, it's not where then. It's it's Filipowski. It's yeah. Filipowski yeah. is okay. is a Laker. Um. Yeah. And Dread moved up to sixteen. Um. With the magic, uh, when I, I yeah, traded and, down to that pick, and, and I grabbed Montas Buzelis, who I personally think will be bad. <laughs> but but if he's not, what if you're he's saying? Not? There's a chance. There's a chance. Um, okay, so we are up to pick 19 on the board. Sam is once again one, another one of his favorite teams. The Toronto Raptors, Masai Ujiri. <laughs> Bobby uh, Webster Will, Will was asking you to look at the image he just DM'd you. Uh, I hopefully that is something. Oh my God, no! I need to I need to pull this up for everyone's reaction. This is actually very important. Okay. I, I normally wouldn't do this in the middle of the draft, but this is. But uh, da, 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 da. this has just been posted to Instagram by Ben Simmons. <laughs> ah! What is the, what what is that? It hits different when you bet on yourself and it pays off. Ben Simmons just posted. In black and white. That's so true. He did bet on me. I paid $40 million to play COD. It's awesome. (laughs) (laughs) John Tay Porter. Oh, yeah. John Tay Porter (laughs) might disagree. (laughs) Well, he actually Uh, bet against himself, to be fair. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's the problem. Didn't believe in himself enough. Yeah. He he did not learn from Fred Van Fleet and Tim Donaghy. Ben Simmons did. That's that's actually that's a brilliant point, uh, Parm. Thank the you. The quickest part of this past NBA season is how much I've started wanting Ben back. Oh my God! No. All the Sixers. I, I've started to yearn every time this like, like Tobias is ass. I'm like, oh, wrong kid died. I need Ben back. <laughs> <laughs> We're all insane people. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh, legendary. All right. Um. Whew. So Sam, you are up on the board with our uh, north of the border friends, the <laughs> Toronto Raptors. Friends. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm doing. I'm doing a little. I'm, I'm putting a quick uh, trade machine war crime. I was not gonna try to do this, but. Um, uh, Parm, one more time for Mr. Yeah. Trey Young. Oh uh, my God! <laughs> Jakob Pertl, Kelly Olynyk, and Bruce Brown. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> That's three bad players. And, and and this pick right here at nineteen, and our unprotected next year's pick. Mm. Can you can you throw in like somebody like? Like that's like fun while being ass, like Gary Trent. He's he is unfortunately a free agent. Is he Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Javon, how about Javon Freeman Liberty? Uh, I believe is his name. He's not fun while being ass. I gotta be honest with you, he's just ass. (laughs) Chris Boucher, Chris Boucher, fun while being ass. You know, he's the trebuchet. Yeah, he's Dark Davitsky against the Sixers. Um, But the problem is, we don't get to say Trey Boucher now. Is I would need a third team because I have n- like what the fuck am I supposed to do with Donovan Kling and Jakob Pertl Kelly oh. and also <laughs> and also uh oh I was just talking about him who is the number six overall pick that's their bad center uh, a Kongwu yeah. Kongwu yeah um I could take okay. Pertl out give you Boucher but I don't know how to like, how does this fix anything yeah. All right. hey uh. How about this? Uh, there's a whole bunch of people who probably want centers, who want Klingon. Who has the 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 who has the, who has the grid? Why would he trade Klingon I'm not, though? I'm not I don't know. I Zach would, Eadie. No, I would want to trade. Like really, the the real thing oh, is right. the real guy I would want to actually involve with this is Mister Daryl Morey because I think he would Ooh. love Kelly Kelly Olynyk. I well, listen. If you held on I, I might just have to eat that. 
I love we love some Kelly Olynyk here in Philadelphia, a guy who can invert the floor, looks like a McPoyle twin from It's Always Sunny, a really good fit with what we're trying to do here. The only problem is <laughs> the cap space. Yeah. We don't have cap space, and yeah. because we're we're giving Paul. Stream. No, I'm sorry, Kelly. Kelly we we love we love Kelly O, but not quite. We're already asking Paul George to take a million less because we forgot that Laurie Marketing makes 18 million. <laughs> we only can acquire 17 million. So th- well, it's no, no, a possibility. You're, you're sending me back. You're sending me back. Uh, what's his face, Junior? Uh, uh, Doughton. Uh, Jeff Doughton Jr. Jeffrey Jeffrey Doughton. Ricky Council will be staying on the Sixers, though. I need right. that. I need that point reiterated that we are not trading Ricky Council anyway. Um. So unfortunately, we will not be able to take on Kelly Olynyk. I would love to in another world, but we're still we're chasing after Paul George. And if we miss out on him, we'll give inflated bags to Contavious Caldwell Pope and Clay Thompson, and we'll call it a day. That's my plan. <laughs> yeah, because that's my problem. Because like like Jakob Pertl is is twenty twenty four Timothy Mozgov, <laughs> yeah. literally just there to fucking eat. He's a Cristiano Felicio type. Like he just is there to fucking consume oxygen. And I'm always saying this about Jakob Pertl. Yep. <laughs> Keep in mind, Jakob Pertl was traded for a top ten pick in this draft. He was, and then stank up the joint. <laughs> so, no, no love lost there. So the third best Latvian available in the NBA. <laughs> there was a Raptors fan that tweeted this the other night. That was like, if the if the Raptors just let. Yaka Pertle go to the Celtics, which apparently I didn't even know that you guys wanted to trade for Yaka Pertle. Insane, but that was, insane detail. But that was before the Porzingis trade. And he was like, cool, we could have avoided this super team if Masai wasn't completely sold on the fact that we need to give up a top pick for Yaka Pertle. But here we are today. Um, so, Sam, you're up. And okay. Trey, he wants to like, keep Trey like up. not happening. Yeah. 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 Okay, if it's not happening, uh, I gotta take a take a spin down my big board here. I'm trying to. I don't love a lot of these guys. You know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna what? be Masai. I'm gonna take Hold Isaac. On. What? What do you think about Dejounte Murray? I'm Sam's not, not a Dejounte guy. Uh, I'm. Well, I'm not into. I don't. I feel like that's a worse fit with the Raptors uh, roster. Is not good for him. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like it's a worse fit with Scotty Barnes. Trey and Scotty Barnes, I think, can work a little better. But uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, you know, Saloon's still on the board. I, I actually think Jacoby Walter could be kind of a fit here. They did take Grady Dick last year in the lottery. Though. Yeah, they did. Yep. So um, I don't think they're good enough to take Tristan De Silva. So I'm just going to take Collier um, here, to be honest. Okay, um, Collier. So Collier, along with Quickly, will be the uh, the guards for the Toronto Raptors next year. Spacing still not great with not RJ great. Barrett, uh-huh. Scotty Barnes, and Bianca Myrtle full on the roster. We've got but Kelly Olenek. That, there you go. You got Kelly. Great. That's all that matters. Brady was really good the last month of the season against like fake NBA teams. Who was? Very solid. Grady. Was it Grady like horrible in the G League? He was horrible to start. Yeah. He, he had, was like, really bad in though. the beginning of the year and in the yeah. G yeah. League. But like I want to say like his February was really good. Yeah. Just before Fugazi February, just before Mickey Mouse March. So it's important you got the cut in there. Um, so, all right, let's get – there you go. He shot 45% after December. From three or from the field? Probably from the field. But, okay. you know, you take what you can get when you're yeah, shooting sure. like 17% to start the year. Yeah, um, sure. Okay, so I have the 20th pick, but uh, I have uh, allowed someone to – Come up on the stage here. Peter, if you were in the crowd, I have added you. Someone asked last episode, who the fuck is Peter? <laughs> yeah. Peter is a Wolves fan that listens to the podcast that we have allowed on a few streams now. I've added him to the stage. Peter. What's up? So I know that you have interest in trading up Yes, and, from the and Wolves pick to the 20th pick here. That's true. And um, Peter, do the voice later. Um <laughs> but um <laughs> but so tr- i dm trill that uh this was going to be a kyle anderson uh sign in trade for this pick <laughs> yes uh that was a lie oh that was that uh Switch up. yeah 
Uh, Trill, what do you think of uh, Carl Anthony Towns? I love him. I think he's a fantastic fit with Evan Mobley. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of uh, Darius Garland right now on your roster? I think that this is a deal that we could make work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I see. I see where this uh, is going. That's uh, yeah. not realistic. Hold on now. Hold uh, on. What's the trade? So let me pull it up. Um, Par Parm, by the way, if you want to take your victory lack on Carl Anthony Towns, this is the time to do it. Uh, not, we have to do this right he now. Can't buy yes. himself, he can't buy himself respect to even bring the Wolves <laughs> to the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> <laughs> this poor bastard, like, he, he tries his fucking ass off. For what? <laughs> when will we put respect on his name? <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns, you wouldn't have got to the Western Conference Finals without him. I'm just saying. No, he we wouldn't. Of... It is crazy, though, that he threw all the goodwill. He really did. <laughs> yeah. like, especially watching these first two games. Like, it, it's really awful. Like, yeah. we we would have beat them 100% if he hit seven threes <laughs> instead of three and five. It was literally three. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> whatever. The trade. The trade. The trade is... Uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Okay. Um, and then our pick, our second round pick, and a okay. pick swap to move up. Plus okay. Darius Garland and uh George George's Niang mm -hmm. last year on his deal as well. Okay. So George Niang and Darius Garland for Carl Anthony Towns, your second round pick in this draft, and then you get the 20th pick. Correct. Okay, so I'm the Cavs and I'm taking on Carl Anthony Towns contract. But you're getting you're get hey, I've done the math. You're getting rid of Dar of Darius's contract. And in this scenario, you are also yeah. more than likely trading Jared Allen. Well, or or I could just start Carl Anthony Towns at the three. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Vlade. Okay, I, go. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's giant giant ball here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, if you, if you want to do that, that's 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 your prerogative after the trade, you know. That's... Okay, yeah, fair. Um, all right, so we have traded. Uh, well, let's let's sign this deal up. That sounds good. Yeah, to me. let's go. So you have the twentieth pick in the draft now. Um, so, sorry, real quick. So it's a second round pick, and then the, the pick swap is next year. No, the no, pick, pick swap is now. This year. The is pick this swap year. is for the second round pick, right? Oh, oh, oh. oh or I'm oh. sorry. No. Is it the first? Because they have a first. The yeah, we have a the first and the second. I'm understanding. So it's 37 and 20, whatever. The yeah. Wolves mm -hmm. have. Okay. Yeah, 37 and 27. Yeah. 37 and 27 for 20. We're sort of doing two things at once here. Yes. We're doing the okay. pick trade and the player trade. That okay. Great. Carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. I've got the details. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Peter. Yes. Who would you like to select with the 20th pick in the draft? Uh, I would like to select Tyler Cole. <laughs> Oh my God! Go. <laughs> what, what an amazing the Midwest, the I Midwest nightmare. <laughs> Let's go. New TJ McConnell just dropped, dude. Yeah, and look, I you can go back. I asked, is TJ McConnell a free agent? Because he'd be perfect for the Wolves. He'd be there a perfect go. ant teammate. Let's go. And Another... I just realized we have TJ McConnell at home. So Let's... here we go. Tyler Kolak and Darius Garland. Yeah. Along look, with Monte every, Morris and Mike Conley, and I here's love the thing. it. <laughs> look at the look at every champion from uh this decade so far. Yep. The Lakers, Alex Caruso. Yeah. The Bucks, Pat Connaughton. There you go. The Warriors. Moving on. Um, <laughs> the Nuggets. <laughs> no, they had Demonia Belita, not a white oh, American guy, but oh, they did oh, have Nico Belita. Manion? Hey, Wolves Legend. Was that a year after? No, no Nico was Mannion a... was. No, he was on the team. He was a two way. Was he? No, I. I he never he may played. have been. He, he was G League. There's. I don't yeah. think he got a ring. No, he was a two way. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nuggets. Christian Brown. Yeah. That might. He might be the archetype. Yeah, that's true. You, yeah. This. Well, I the mean, Celtics. The Celt have, yeah, Celtics Peyton, have I mean, Peyton Pritchard is yeah, the Nelson. ultimate of this. Yeah. And yeah, then on, the 2025 yeah. NBA champions. <laughs> There you go. Tyler the Tyler Kolak led to Minnesota yeah. Timberwolves. Oh my God. JJ on the broadcast during the Tyler Kolak minutes in the finals next year. Let's go. Gonna, oh my God. He's going to be going crazy. He's going to love so let's that, go. dude. Let's Tyler Kolak. Tyler maybe Kolek. the guy I'm most confident at the back half of the first this year, who's going to be a good player. 
Okay. I, maybe not most confident. Maybe that's crazy. <laughs> but I think he's going to be an NBA player. He's going to be – like he's I, not – he has very little upside, but we you know what he is. He's I could very, be wrong. He's white, small, and old, so I won't be drafting him. But he is. He is a month younger than me. <laughs> so it is a little – and I've been graduating from college for over a year. But yeah. that's besides the point. I was going to say he is uh, 24 during his rookie season, but there are a lot of guys like that in this draft, hey. to be honest with you. Hey. I feel great, and I'm almost 24. So we'll yeah, see. you're so old, Peter. I'm yeah, I know. yeah spring chicken. My hoop dreams are over. Yeah, yeah. But apparently I do, not. I do just want to point out: we just did 20 picks in this draft, and I believe I selected one time. <laughs> no, no, you selected it twice. I think. twice. Okay, twice, two times. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, look, we we're, we're making moves here. It's slop season. Do you want to recap the top 20 picks? We can we can do the whole first round if everyone wants to. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm down. still here. Okay, I'm, I'm down. down. Is I, everyone I got, down? I, got, I, missed, I, got, I missed the 17. first half, so I'll be reacting to it. Bye. <laughs> I got go. 17 more players I care about. All right, let's I'm continue. sure this will be very accurate. This will be like chalk, right, to, ever, to yeah. the other mock drafts out there? Yeah, yeah. I would say this is going to be yeah. one for one for most. Like, Gavoni and us, it's pretty much indistinguishable. These Cool, cool, mock-ups. cool. All right, let's take a look. So okay. Trill has 27 now. So I guess we're starting with uh with Parm. Parm at, Parm at 21. Yeah. Oh, I'm at 20. I thought it was I thought I was the Phoenix Suns. So we actually didn't count past this point. So you we're gonna let if you, you take... want to be the Phoenix Suns, I'll be I'll be the Pelicans if you would like me to uh yeah, be the I would love to be the Phoenix Suns if possible. Okay, okay wait, right. hold on, Pelicans. Mm-hmm. I have Jared Allen. <laughs> And Ooh. I don't really have a use for him anymore. Interesting. Okay. Talk to me. So who would you be willing to trade on your roster for Jared Allen? Uh, I will not be trading Herb Jones or uh, Trey Murphy. Trey Murphy. Yes. Fuck. So that, that might be the end of that. Uh, what about, but I will trade you Brandon pretty much Ingram. anyone else. But besides, Yeah. Maybe Brandon Ingram. Let's talk. Brandon Ingram. Uh, I don't know. You would need to find some more salary, I guess. Max Struess, but that's kind of tough. I mean, I don't know. Mm. You do we have, have Karis Levert. You have Karis Levert. So, so Karis Levert and Jared Allen, the Nets boys, for Boom. Brandon Ingram. For Brandon Ingram. Let me check this out. I think that works. I think that works almost exactly. Yeah, this you is know a what? fuck it. Sign this me is up. A squad, dude. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Sign me up. Let's do this. The, Pel- the Pelicans. The Pelicans have acquired Jared Allen and Karis LeVert for Brandon Ingram. Um and the Cavs are now starting Donovan Mitchell, <laughs> Brandon Ingram, Max Struess, Carl Anthony Towns, and Evan Mobley. That's so awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I kind of like that squad. Yeah. Let's <laughs> like, go. We've saved the Cavs, baby. Let's the go. The Cavs are back. Yeah, that, yeah. that team's probably winning the East next year. Let's to be go. Honest. <laughs> yeah. Celtics regression. That's probably the favorite in the East. Let's go. I've built I built a squad for the Cavs. Congratulations. Uh, you thank built you the so championship. Uh, and now Jared yeah. Allen and Karis LeVert with their new team on the Pelicans have the 21st overall pick in this draft. Yeah. Um, I'll take Khalil Ware here. Khalil Ware. Another center. So you got a backup. You got you just took your your center rotation yep. and made it very good. So yep. your starter will be Jared Allen. Your backup will be Khalil Ware, who I have 13 on my board right now. And he's he might a- he might close for us when Zion's in the game, depending on how the spacing works out with see how the shot because he yeah. if he actually can shoot, mm-hmm. that's the swing skill for him for me. Is like if he can shoot, uh he's a very good offensive player with at least the right tools to be a good defensive player. I don't know if his awareness is quite good enough, but he's got talent. I mean, I, the comp for him has been DeAndre Ayton. Right, exactly, yeah. But if you got Ayton with the 21st pick in the draft, you'd be pretty pumped because he at least had two or three years where if, he if was – you got like, Ayton a, when he was drafted at the yeah. 21st pick. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yes, exactly. Not, not current Ayton who hates life and basketball. But if you were to do that then, then that would be – Agreed. That would be a, a steal of a pick. So, um, so yeah. So Khalil Ware, twenty first pick to the Pelicans. That means up with pick twenty two is going to be Dread, since Parm's going to take um, pick twenty three, which is the Phoenix Suns. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, Parm's Wait. up. 
Parms, Parms up. up. Yeah, it's Parms 22. Up. Yeah. Parms up at 22. So, Parm, you have a chance to do the, the funniest thing of all time here, but uh, what, are, what are you considering? Um, I mean, okay. So, like, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Do it. I, I do think Bronny should be drafted in the second round. Let's go. I think he is a second round caliber player. Mm hmm. I'm fine with him getting drafted. I think people are being very nasty to him. No, I totally. I, no, I think everyone agrees with that. I I don't think anyone disagrees that he should go in the second. I think the first is rich. Yeah, I think that's a, like a little crazy. Uh, I mean, Peyton Watson did it with the same stats, but he's a little taller. Mm -hmm. Um, the meme choice that I'm making here is the real answer is I should just be going to get. Well, wait, who's what centers are available still? All right. Well, we, we took most of the good ones. Yeah, I think we took. Yeah, so then so all here's the thing: so my starting center is Bulbul. That's okay. And that, means, and that means that my pick is gonna be the Swedish sensation himself, Bobby Clinton. Oh my god! Oh, no. let's, let's go. go. What is he listed as a power forward? Yeah, yeah like shot Bobby. Bobby Clinton. Let's go. We got. Oh my listen, god. He, Listen, every complaint I've seen about Bobby Clinton's draft stock just makes me think that he is literally Michael Porter. Like, he's just stiff. He just stands around. He catches ball. He shoots the ball. That's really all he's fucking doing. Sometimes he'll get a rebound, but, like, he runs weird. Just give me him. There just you go. On the team. Be busy. You can't, you can't argue with that logic. Bra, bra. Yeah. I mean, we'd love to see it. Um, so the Suns have added. I should have taken Salon though, but like, <laughs> I love I love Bobby Clinton. Bobby Clinton, look, he's going to help you next year. Um, she Bobby on my he'll, until he'll... I. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bobby Clinton next year will be the fifth best player on the Suns immediately. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really don't know nearly enough about him, although I know KOC likes him. So the thing that, a red flag the thing for that me. Throws me for him. Also, is like he seems to be getting such a such a knockdown for being a backup player in the Australian league. Mm -hmm. And Alex Sor might go number one overall, and he was also True. in the Australian league. Like, it, very good point. He is the RJ Hampton to his Lamelo, but like not that far. My, my, my problem with Bobby Clintman is that KOC was mocking him in the lottery last year before he decided to go overseas, which is one of the biggest red flags. <laughs> Although I did say the same thing about Brandon Miller last year, and uh, KOC owned me. Yeah, but I got to tell you, um, Brandon Miller didn't decide to go overseas, though he might have wanted to to avoid some of that legal. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I, I do just want to point out here that uh, – Clidman not staying in the draft after being mocked in the lottery is um Filipowski did the same thing, didn't he? Filipowski was never projected wasn't to go. He, the I, wasn't he supposed to go like he, I think 12? he was, yeah. He was late first last year. Like really? right before the yeah, yeah, right before the tournament, he I saw him being like there, mocked if you, like nine or ten. But if yeah. you're if you're if that's the case and you went back to school, you're an idiot. Yeah, I thought so as well. I, like I thought that was a bad decision for him, but like he did do it, I think. I'm I pretty think certain he was end of first round last year. I think both the Duke guys, Proctor and him, were both, and they no, both I, went back. See, because I thought he, him and Lively were supposed to be Actually, like, yeah, Philip, deciding which one's better. Filipowski, uh, Klingon was mocked in the top 20, but like he went first in our draft. Uh, for, uh, th well, he's going to rise. That Wait, was a smart. Right. Well, the, Klingon, um, Klingon was a backup last year, though. Exactly. Well, time. that was the whole thing. We, we yeah. were talking about Klingon, but uh, Filipowski was mocked in the first i just don't remember where in the first i'm almost on. positive it was the end of the first but yeah but he's probably going to go to the end of the first of this draft too so yeah. i guess there's really not much of a difference but i mean he um, had such he had such a charismatic coach in john shire that he just had to stay yeah he couldn't leave those vibes you know yeah um all right so let's pull up next would be so since we we let parm go we'll, we'll have dread go here yep uh with the Bucks. Yeah, I, I, there's there's three really easy possible picks here for me, uh, and that's Tristan De Silva is a, mm -hmm. a like a, like yeah a, like it feels like a very very easy pick. I do want to shout out one of my favorite late round guys, uh, in Jonathan Magbo. Okay, who's just from a kinda, San Francisco. Yep, who's just kind of a do it all kind of good player. Yeah, uh, athletic I, I, dude. Yeah. 
high upside athletic guy. The JT I, Thor of this class, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Some, some. Also, I want to make it clear. The T in JT Thor stands for Thor. What? He, so, he's J- J- so his name is J- JT, J Thor Thor? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you have to understand. JT Thor. We, is, we've looked it up. His his actual name is Jakao Panan uh-huh. JT Thor. The T comes from the God. Thor. So it's like saying ATM machine is what you're telling me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Uh, question for you, Parm. Mm-hmm. If the Sixers, the, I, I we're talking about JT Thor here, who's a guy that they should be interested in, obviously, yeah. one of the all time greats. Thoughts on Vic Krejci possibly on the Sixers next year? I mean, he is the new Garrison Matthews. I don't <laughs> understand. Like, you can't have Garrison Matthews fell off, so now we have to be a, be about Vic Krejci. Like, I, I'm, sure. I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, but we love it. We love it. I I am Jalen Tyson is Jalen Tyson is the other person I'm like considering for the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's a natural fit again, just a very good player. And I do just value players being generically good. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna take the slightly higher upside pick in this case with uh, Tristan De Silva. Okay, so we'll go Tristan De Silva. That's who I would have picked too. Okay, so the Bucks. I actually like his fit on the Bucks. I think yeah, kind of. I think Tristan De Silva is just a solid bench wing in the NBA, but the Bucks just need players. <laughs> like yeah. the Bucks are in salary hell, and they need cheap rotation players who can actually survive. I would love that pick for them there. Now we have up on the board we have back to back Knicks picks, so uh, I'll take one of them since I haven't picked in quite some time. We'll give the other one to uh, to Peter. Peter, you can take the second Knicks pick here. Um, all right, look, uh, my personal take here, I would not take this player. I would take someone else, but if I know Tom Thibodeau and the rumors are true, he's taking Ryan Dunn. Come on. He is in their ear. I have a Knicks fan in the comment right now screaming, no, (laughs) Ryan Dunn, possibly the greatest athlete defender hybrid combo I've maybe ever seen and also possibly the worst offensive player in the history of basketball. Basically, what if Matisse Thibel was injected with human growth hormones? That's Ryan Dunn. It's pre- but that's pretty that's a pretty good uh, tips, a- I'm just saying tips. Tibbs would love Ryan Dunn. I don't oh. know. The only thing is he doesn't shoot, which he has he's a high as no touch. Um they have enough they have enough shooting though, I feel. I th- he's they? a gr- great rebounder. I think they if OG's For, healthy, Dante, yeah. OG, McBride, Brunson. You have to put Tibbs, you have to put Tibbs minutes when you talk about this team. You can't think of a like a normal roster. You have to understand that like I mean, Tibbs all, gave- any good players playing 35 minutes. Yeah. I mean, didn't he give 35 minutes to Nerland's Noel a couple years ago. Yeah. On the Knicks. Something like that. That's like basically what you're doing here. Just like a little bit smaller. So Ryan Dunn, you are a New York Knicks. Still 20 years old, by the way. 6'8", 208. Crazy tools. One of the best. I'm not exaggerating. He's the greatest wing defender I've ever seen at the college level. He also might be the worst offensive player I've ever seen at the college level. But this is this is the pick. I'm sorry, Knicks fans. You're 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 getting another demon on the boards. You're getting another uh, a wing defender, but um, offensively, he's got a ways to go to be to be an NBA player. He'll probably be in Westchester next year. But I I'm going to be honest. I think even in this draft, I would take him in the first round. I would. There are a lot of guys on the board. I, I would I would take over him here, though. I would take Tyler Smith over him. I would take KJ Simpson over him, although they don't really need another small guard. I would take Jalen Tyson over him. There are a lot of guys I would take uh, over him. But uh, Ryan Dunn, you are a New York Nick. Um, Peter, you are up on the board next. As as much as I would love to take my uh, fellow Golden Gopher, um, wait, oh shit, Baylor's. I uh, I hundred percent should have taken Baylor with the Timberwolves pick. I didn't realize he was a bit. <laughs> Baylor Shireman's much, still on the board. That's a much better pick. But Johnny Furphy is the pick here. Oh, because, okay. Because that sort of alleviates the zero offense 
of Let's the previous go. pick Let's with go. pretty much only offensive upside with Johnny. And also, gonna... yeah, <laughs> the, the Knicks fans in the comments are going to kill you. <laughs> Think about myself. Hey, hey, they they can't talk. Do you remember? Do you remember the Ron Baker, the peak of Ron Baker Knicks? How yes. happy they were, and they Uh-oh. loved him. He was yeah. he was he was the fan favorite of fan favorites. And don't you don't you want the feeling back? This is you know, yeah, not with we a love good it. team. He would be if he was contributing on a good team and like another Knicks team like this last year, he would be the, the most popular man in New York. Like they can deny point. it all they want, but they a he a hundred percent. Yeah, Steve Novak. Yeah, exactly. Novakane, baby. Yeah, exactly. They like Jason, they liked a hundred year old Jason Kidd when he was there. Like a good you point. Know, they they yeah. love these types of guys. So yeah, so for yeah. Furphy and, and Dunn, probably the yeah. could not get two two more different prospects for yeah. the Knicks, hey, but they gotta figure out a way to combine them. If they did, honestly, that would be yeah. you would have an all-star if you combine Johnny Furphy along with what if you combine Ryan Furphy's Dunn? defense and Dunn's offense? <laughs> You would, that player would be Langford. Romeo Langford. They'd be in this chat. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, All right. I, I, I'm, can I give myself the Wizards pick here? You uh, can have the Wizards pick. Sure. I will take Salon here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah, sure. At this point. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Perfect. I can't believe that he's fell this far. Um, and then I have the uh, the pick up here for the Cavs now, uh, who now have Brandon Ingram, Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's add some more shooting to the mix, why don't we? Let's bring in Tyler Smith. 6'10", power I forward, like G League Ignite. I like it. He'll be the George Niang replacement. Uh, yeah, he's a good shooter. That's kind of all he really does. But when you're at this point of the draft... That's who you're taking. You're taking very limited players who are probably going to be bench guys. But hey, he's Tyler better Smith. than Bazellus. He's better than Bazellus. So you heard it here first, folks. Yeah, I mean it's it's possible. I I took Bazellus earlier, but like that's more of a if it works, it works. You know, if he dies, he's, he dies. He's genuinely a better shooter than Bazellus. Like that is, that is legitimately very possible. Yeah. So anyway. no, he he was very good at shooting this year with the uh, with the G League Ignite. Um, okay, so now we have up on the board. We Sam just went. I went. Uh, let's. So we have two picks left. We or three picks. We have the Nuggets, the Jazz, and the Celtics. Parm, um, I I would. So let's go, Parm. Real quick, uh, uh, I think a special guest would like to pick for the Celtics when we get to that pick. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I, I don't, know I don't like that. I don't like yeah, that. I don't. No, I actually, I love that idea. Let's go with yeah. that. Um, <laughs> so, so Parm, um, you have the Denver Nuggets on the board here. So, I think the, I think I'm just going to take my guy. Okay. I'm not going to think about the Nuggets. Mm-hmm. I think if I'm if I actually was the Nuggets, I'd probably take Jurisic or Baylor Shireman. Okay, but I'm not. I'm me, and I believe in the University of Baylor. Ooh, Jacoby Walter. I think he's very good. Um, I have not been wrong in many years betting on Baylor guys. You were a Keontae guy last year. They do me right. I I actually like I didn't get a team that Jacoby Walter was a good fit on, but I actually kind of like Jacoby as like a just outside the lottery guy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty high on him. So uh, he goes with the twenty, just outside the lottery pick twenty eight. He goes here. Um, <laughs> honestly, at this point, you're just drafting players, hoping that they're NBA players. You can't really worry about what you need. Yeah. So Walter. I, if- if I had the Lakers pick, I would have taken him for the Lakers. I'm just I'm putting that out there. But anyway, I thought about the exact same pick for the for the Lakers as well. Mm-hmm. I think he'll probably end up going in that range. To be clear, and, he'll probably be just outside the lottery. And we're like the the guys. Yeah. So uh, now we have the Utah Jazz up on the board. Yep. Did the Jazz keep this pick? We didn't trade. Yeah, this? I, I kept. Okay. The pick. Okay, you kept the pick. All right. So we'll let you select here again, then, Dread. 
uh, I, I'm 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 just gonna name some names that I do love and I, I do want people to think about. I already know who I'm taking, uh, but I do want to shout out Kaishan George, who I think is a good player. Uh, I I want to shout out Jalen Tyson, who's a good player who I'm not gonna end up taking here. Pacom Dadiet, who I think is a high upside player, but I'm just gonna take Jonathan Magbo here. I, I just I think that he if he hits, he's he's you're, going you're into there. Kaishan George. I am into Kaishan George. I think that Kaishan George has the possibility of being an effective player. I think so too. I just was kind of floored at the idea that he was going to stay in this draft. Like, I really thought yeah. he was going to transfer to like a better program than Miami. That's what Wuga Poplar did. Exact. Well, yeah, basically the same same exact like idea. Yeah. Or or uh, if if you're bad. Uh, DJ Wagner going and following Cal's at Arkansas. Okay. Um, I, I have an idea of who's going to be picking the Celtics pick, but Peter, who do we have on the line? To... Can I go conspiracy bill here for a second? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so more than likely, Rosillo, the the Celtics are going to be, be champions here, mm-hmm. right? And we've seen it in the past. It's it's hard to repeat. It's really hard to repeat, right? Some be Rosillo. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm divorced. <laughs> there's there's not too much roster flexibility we, you can do in the off season. You know, you're kind of we, the team is the team is sort of set. Yeah, I, I mean, you you talk to people around the league. Like I look, I was sitting there. On the beach, and I, I was talking to some. It's not important who it is. I don't want to like name drop someone. Like I, you know, that's, that's all I care about or anything like that. But like I was talking to them, and they were talking about like this roster might be locked in. Exactly. So, and KOC and I were talking about this, and I think would it be crazy if the what if the Celtics took Bronny James at thirty? <laughs> Let's go. And you've knocked me. Not out of only character. do you, not only do you take, do you get twenty seven before the Lakers? LeBron, LeBron only has four titles. Mm. Kobe has five. George Steph has six? four. He's tied with Steph. Mm. KD has art. KD in 20, 2016 already only blazed the trail for this. Yeah, we've seen this before. Wow. So There's... I will be taking LeBron James, Bronny James, with the thirtieth pick, <laughs> with the idea that LeBron James will sign for the minimum with the Boston Celtics. He likes JT. He likes Jason Tatum. He's a big fan of Drew. He says on who, the he says on who, the podcast, by the way, Tatum. He's still only twenty six. He's got levels to go up. He's still twenty six. He's got levels to go. Who better to teach him than LeBron? Here you go. I mean, and he likes JJ. This is sicko shit. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not participating in this. This is and, repulsive. And, and JJ, there's a there's an assistant opening on the Celtic staff. <laughs> oh, so God. if if the, if that's still part of it, he can go there. <laughs> all right, all right, all there we go. Perfect. Evil people. You're all going to hell because if, if this happened, you would all flip out. You well, would, we would be. Yeah, I would be knows. genuinely concerned if this happened. Yeah. If if they took Bronny at thirty, you're, it's a funny bit for you now. But you'd be like, wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to be wait, wait, waiting. LeBron James is a labor hero. He would never tarnish the NBA PA Thank you. by signing a sub substandard NBA contract. You, you missed it, Parm. This he's is what's going to happen. Like, 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 you can make fun of LeBron all you want, but in 15 years, when he's your president, like, I hope you have that same level of fucking animosity. <laughs> Parm, Parm. He's in charge Parm. of the United States military, Parm. I hope. You know? Parm, you missed it. They're not, he's not signing. The vet minimum. Porzingis just got hurt again. Oh, the Celtics okay. will oh trade. They will trade Porzingis for LeBron James. They will trade Porzingis of whatever other salary, day, and they will get two first round picks for doing it. Oh, dude! And Porzingis's career will be over. Porzingis and AD front court will be must watch TV for like people who love watching train accidents on YouTube. <laughs> That's gonna be fucking crazy. They're gonna like they should never be mean? clutching a kneecap like once a quarter. How many games did Steve Nash play for the Lakers? Um, like 40? 30 days, Steve? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like would Chris Stapps... 37, there you go. 
would Chris Stapps play more or less than 37 <laughs> games for the Lakers in this scenario? I'm saying under. I'm saying if, if the Celtics, it's a ticking time bomb. If the I got to go under on that you. one. <laughs> I think he's going to pick that up. All right. Um, this was fun. Well played, Went folks. Two well played. hours and 15 minutes. Uh, I will be editing. If you want to hear the unedited version, sign up for the Uniball Patreon. Trill, am I, am I releasing the board or are we sitting on it for a second because i have it all written out if you want if you want that's fine um do you want to share your screen yeah i mean i can hold on let me uh, here i'll remove my screen because it's not going to do any justice for the fucking war crimes that we this draft started with a cade coming cuttingham trade pretty early and it got weirder from there (laughs) oh god cade and wemby baby oh wait that's what happened yeah, I gotta, you'll see. I, I you'll guess see. I got to listen on the Uniball Patreon. Also, can right. I, I ask someone who knows more basketball or, or is paying more attention than I do? <laughs> is Judah Mintz, is he going back to Syracuse? Like, why is he not? He's second round pick projected. Uh, he, I think... Why? Did I, he? I think he stayed good. in the draft, right? Uh, he, he yeah, like, in the draft. I, had he an, I saw a bunch of stuff about him like before the tournament that he was like a big deal and i was so stoked that q's hoops was back that i was just like yeah that's my boy yeah and then, then i never saw him again he just dropped off the he dropped off all the mock boards so from what everyone explained to me judah Mintz went back to college last year and didn't get better at the things that he was supposed to get better at and yeah. then went back into the draft that was what why he is going in the second round and possibly undrafted oh so, so he is exactly the same as my other goat the beak man Reese, Reese Beak. Beak. Yes, Reese, Reese Beak. Yeah. He follows in the lineage of Parm guys like Reese Beekman and who was the OTE? Oh, Gene Montero, who's currently killing it in the Euro League. Gene, Gene. Yeah. I, I, when you texted me that, I had to go check ProBallers.com to see where Amar Silo was going. <laughs> He's nasty. He has 10 points. He has a steal and a block for, in, on like some random team in the Spanish League. I have no Real idea Parm. who you're talking about, but we'd love to see it. Um, <laughs> So I'm all right, seeing, I'm I'm seeing John Johnny Davis is included. In <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, we're, we're we're I'm keeping Troy's dream alive. We're picking up every redemption project in the NBA. Kyle Kuzma. And okay, you all right? We have to. We're gonna read down it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> the first pick was Donovan Klingon to the Hawks. I'm trying to read this. It's a little blurry, but. The second pick was Ron Holland to the Wizards. The third pick was Nikola Topic to the Rockets. The fourth pick was Reed Shepard to the Pistons, who we swapped picks uh, here, four and five originally. And Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan were also included. And the Spurs got Kate cutting him. <laughs> zoom in, Sam. Zoom yeah. in. Okay. Can you zoom in a little bit? There we go. I think that just made it blurrier on my screen, but it's okay. It's impressive, actually. Yes. Um, The fifth pick is uh, Rob Dillingham to the Wizards, Kyle Kuzma, Johnny Davis, and Kyle Kyle Kuzma and Johnny Davis went to the Pistons. So to recap, the Pistons got Keldon Johnson, Kyle Kuzma, Johnny Davis, and Jeremy Sohan for Cade Cunningham. Um, and Reed, and and they also got Reed Shepard as well. Honestly, they're taking, they're yeah. getting guys. They're like, they're getting guys. The part might be might be onto something here. Um, number six, Alexander Saar goes to the Hornets. Number seven, Zachary Richier goes to the Blazers. Number eight, Cody Williams goes to the Spurs. Um, number nine, Zach Eady goes to the Grizzlies. Number ten, Dalton Connect goes to the Jazz. Number eleven. The Bulls get Bob Carrington, number 12, uh, Eves Missy to the Blazers. This was the trade that was Josh Giddy and Eves Missy for Jeremy Grant to the Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> to get the greatest, the future greatest Cameroonian center. Yes. Um, did you fact check that, that he's from Cameroon? I just I, did. I, I have okay. fact checked it. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say there's multiple Cameroonian centers in this draft. Um Steph, Stefan Castle to the Bulls, uh, which 
they traded for they traded Zach Levine <laughs> for Kevin Herter, Harrison Barnes, and this pick. So they got Stephen Castle, Herter, and Harrison Barnes. That's for, the most realistic one, to be honest. <laughs> and Zach Levine's a king. Yeah, I mean, yeah. let's go. Uh, Dayron Holmes went to the Blazers with the 14th pick. Devin Carter went to the Heat with the 15th pick. Also very realistic. Rookie the of the year. <laughs> the 16th pick was uh modest buzelis to the magic um <laughs> who got paid two seconds to they go. got two seconds to take this this to move up two picks in the draft so the sixers could trade back and preserve their cap space <laughs> to sign paul george in free agency because they also traded three first for laurie Markin. <laughs> I can't even get through this. Jared McCain went to the Lakers with the next pick, and then immediately Parm uh, traded a top 15 protected 2029 first to the Sixers for the 18th pick. And they took Kyle Filipowski. 19, Isaiah Collier went to the Raptors. 20, Tyler Kolick went to the Timberwolves. That was Carl Anthony Towns. Number 27 and 37 for Darius Garland and number 20. I blacked um, out during that. I was, like, yeah. I was like, I'm like, what the hell is happening here? I, I feel like I'm going on a DMT trip <laughs> trying to like recap this whole thing without laughing. <laughs> Not doing a good job. Um, Khalil Ware was the 21st pick to the Pelicans. We also traded uh, Jarrett Allen and Karis LeVert for Brandon Ingram in that uh, area. Uh, Bobby Clintman went to the Suns. At pick 22, Tristan De Silva to the Bucks with pick 23. Ryan Dunn and Johnny Furphy to the Knicks with pick 24 and 25. And then we have Jacoby Walter, or I'm sorry, Tyler Smith to the Timberwolves, who got that pick. Um, or no, to that's the Cavs, mm-hmm. Sam. That should be changed. Oh, is that the? Oh, yes. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that was okay. in the that was in the very oh, realistic trade that we made. Yeah. So Did we say Tajan Salon to Washington. Oh, we missed Tajan Salon at 26 to Washington. So yep. Tajan Salon. And then 27, Tyler Smith to the Cavs, Jacoby Walter to the Nuggets, Jonathan Mogbo to the Jazz, and then Brody James to the Celtics. <laughs> the only thing that needs to be included here, Sam, is the Laurie Marketing for three first round picks. Uh, that me and Dredd do, made the, do to the we Sixers. decide which picks. You guys just said three first round picks. So we said it's I, I sent two on I sent three unprotected picks, the two picks the Sixers can trade unprotected. Okay. And then also uh the Clippers unprotected pick that they got from the uh the Harden trade. What and what's that? What salary did the Sixers give up? We didn't have to. We have sa- salary cap space. Oh, you have yeah. salary cap. And w- will you still be able to get Paul George in this scenario? In this scenario, we're asking Paul George to take a million less dollars on his max contract. No, I don't think you need to anymore. I think you. No, we do. We, uh, I fucked up. I forgot. I forgot that you need that you need to. You can only get seventeen million if you sign Paul George, but Laurie Market it makes eighteen million. So if if that fails, we're going to sign Contavious Caldwell Pope. Clay Thompson to to inflated bags, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna roll with that with Larry Market and uh, so Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. Are, are the two picks you guys can trade? Uh, it's 20, 29 and thirty one, I think. Twenty nine and thirty one. Okay. Yeah, I think, and then the tw- yeah. and then the Clippers pick is twenty eight, I believe. Yeah, and yeah. okay, and you're you're trading a Clippers pick too. Yeah, it was an unprotected pick from the Harden trade that they traded okay. us. And All then right. we ha- we only have uh two first left and they're both Mickey. <laughs> well, I know, and then you also have this uh Lakers pick. Are right, that, that in- I was including that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, this so top it's, 15. It's so it's four first then. No, I'm not sending that. We're keeping that. Oh, you're keeping it. Okay. Yeah, that's All for right. future trades. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so the Jazz get three first for Larry Markkinen. Uh, and, and they also got Jeff Dalton. Don't forget Jeff Dalton. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Thing. Okay. <laughs> we kept Ricky Council, though. 